Welcome. 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 To Empire. To Empire. 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 To Empire. 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 Of Arts. Of Arts. Of Arts. Of Arts. Empire of Arts to Empire of Arts. Thank Empire of Arts. Thank you so much, Empire of Arts. That's too kind. Empire of Arts six nine six. Welcome back, brother. Love you, T T U T T U, baby. I actually had a chance to speak with Empire of Arts family, wife and kids. The whole family's amazing. I'm gonna let you guys know because Empire of Arts is like me, very humble, very modest, doesn't brag on himself too much. But that dude's a cool fucking dude. That's a Cool fucking dude. Awesome family. Cool fucking dude. Oh! Oh, it's a cute VTuber! Oh my god! <laughs> Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh, wow, I found a, I found a lost Goomba. Where are you heading from? Holy crap. Oh, anyways, oh shoot, we're live. Anyways, what's going on everyone and welcome to Empire of Arts with this lonely lost Goomba with me, by the way, in this forest. It's, wow, holy crap. Um, also, um, we have here our... Um, our co-host for tonight and we also have a special guest um styled moth is going to be with us reacting from the topic that we were going to be talking about tonight and here we go we there you go um christopher zazel dark angel rose styled moth uh we're waiting for um princess otaku she should be here uh soon yeah and yeah, what's up, guys? What's going on? How's it going? <clears throat> uh, you know, another day. I was gonna jump on it. Yeah, that Goomba. <laughs> oh yeah, you gotta jump on Goombas. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> uh, whoa, man. Oh, oh man. Jump on the Goomba. <laughs> You know, well, anyway, what, 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 go, okay, nah, go, ahead, nah, go, ahead. go ahead, go ahead. Um, uh, on, I, I don't, I don't know. Cool. I was going to go on like a little rant about Nintendo games. You weren't even old enough to play a Nintendo game. What are you talking about? I grew up, man. I, I grew up with them, dude. Don't even at me. I'm going to at you all day, bro. You can't stop me here. Hmm, maybe so. <laughs> Maybe so. Well, next time. Next time, though. Hey, just remember who's um. You know what? I'm not gonna bring it up. You know, we're, we're, I'm better than that. I'm better than that. Oh, Kumba! Somebody wants to cook you. By the way. Oh no! Oh no! Oh man! <laughs> Wouldn't that be like eating a mushroom or like? Would, would, would you like deep fry him or, or like put him over a cooking spit? Like, I mean, garlic like, butter, bro. Garlic butter. Oh man! Oh no! You're in danger, Goomba. You are endangered. You need to hide, man. Uh, 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 I'm probably poisonous, so you better not eat me. I don't know, man. I think it's like the good kind of poison, you know, like uh, the the psilocybin kind. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, anyways, um, our best topic of tonight is going to be uh, Mr. King Cove's um, saga. What do you guys think about that? Do you guys see how manipulative um, Jessica is? It's 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 just insane. It's really insane. What do you think about that? What do you guys think about that? It's man, it's wild. Between those two, those the relationship is really toxic. Oh, definitely is definitely. Oh boy. I, I, yeah, think, I think I think it's a beautiful blossoming relationship. I think you're you're being too harsh, okay? Just because you know Methica Jessica, a beautiful young lady, uh, built like a spitter from Left for Dead. I I think she's wonderful, okay? Not really, you know. I <laughs> oh man, 
<laughs> Mexico. Yeah. Good old Jessica. Um, well, I'm going to be honest. I'm kind of worried for Josh. I mean, Jessica has proven time and time again that she is extremely unstable and um, uh, more so, I would say, borderline psychotic. And uh, poor Josh, you know, I just... Yeah, I, 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 all right, worst case scenario, she moves to Wyoming like she claims she moves to... Bleh, I can't talk. She moves to Wyoming like she claims on doing. <clears throat> and so let's say things don't work out. Well, if she's local, <laughs> I, I'm just saying, like, worst case scenario, it's going to be like a, some, some kind of horror movie, if you get my drift. Oh, yeah, it kind of reminded me of that movie, and I forgot the title of it. And I, I'm sure you guys know that. It was that uh, woman that um, mm, being being narcissist and all that stuff. And this guy, I forgot what that movie is. I just can't remember. Do you I know, know who the actors are? About that. Do you know the actors? Um, I forgot her name either. Mm. Damn. <clears throat> Misery? Oh, Misery? Are you talking yeah, about Misery yeah, with Kathy yeah, Bates? Yeah. Oh, that oh, one. Yeah. yeah. That, that, that kind of reminded me of that one. Good. Oh, God, yeah. gosh. No way. Yeah, I except like... Ugh. I'm sorry, um, man. You brought up Kathy Bates and it's just like, oh, uh, that was creepy, man. That was really creepy. I'm surprised uh, Princess Otaku wasn't here yet. Uh, Have you tried uh, DMing her on Discord? I did. I did. Um, she isn't responding. Um, hold she on. Probably has technical difficulties, probably, maybe? Probably. Because she was here earlier while we were Yeah, she was. Earlier. She was working on her her VTube model thing, so um, maybe she lost internet. Oh, wait. Her cell phone thing pop-up just showed up on Discord. Let's see if she shows up in a second. <clears throat> All right, so... Before we start, we are going to watch a short clip of Mr. Daniel Larson over here. All right, let me see here. Let me pause this real quick. And here we go. And uh, there you go. Hold on. So, my bad. My bad. My bad. I just made a mistake about that. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Here we go. Give me a second. All right. Okay, here we go. Oh, wait, stop, stop, stop. I just wanted to warn people, he, um, this video, this is really recent, but he says some things that a lot of people might find offensive. Um, he says the N-word a couple times and some other stuff, and drool and snot flies out of his mouth, too. So I'm just warning you guys ahead of time, if you're eating food or something, don't wait so he does really said n-words over here that's what i warned you in the discord thing dude when i sent you this i'm like he says the n-word a few times be warned so i thought you know just letting you guys know <laughs> what a but it, is, it, um, it is disturbing um, i mean but for the most part i mean it's it is relevant to the daniel verse he basically you know threatens what? You know what? to, um, what's up? Go ahead. If you don't want to play it, I think there might be a cleaner no, no, version no, no. of it. Actually, it's fine because I would say, like, did Chili said N-word too before, right? I mean, it should be fine, right? Because I, I heard, I don't know. But, um, yeah, just, just fair warning. Just make sure. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. That's um, why. That's why I was warning them ahead of time so they know, yeah. Okay, all right. Just know when dealing with Daniel to trigger warning. Oh, Princess is on her way. She just uh, messaged me. Okay. Oh, I forgot. Holy crap. Okay, give me a second here. Fuck you, nigger! Fuck you, Bob! Fuck you, nigger! I think you have learned a new word by now. Till the day you fucking die! Right? Whoa, I told whoa, you. Whoa, whoa. I told you. I told you. This is the craziest I've ever seen Daniel act. 
This is like by far the worst he's ever been. Trust me when I say this is this is is unhinged Daniel as unhinged as it gets. And man, I, I hope he doesn't act on any of these threats he's about oh, to, no. to throw out of his mouth. But man, oh boy. Oh what yeah, I, I, oh, sorry. Continue. I, I haven't seen him this freaked out uh, since like, uh, he was, it was a while ago, but he was super angry at Grace Vanduel, you, you know, beating himself, all this stuff. But I, I, I would like to point out that his hair looks like a patch of grass. Meanwhile, his forehead looks like a, a leather purse almost. Don't forget the puffiness of his eyes. He's got like a bunch of puffiness going on right now. It's kind of creepy. Yeah, usually only one of them is puffed up. Usually only one is puffed up, but both of them are now. Pretty <laughs> digital crazy. He's always trying to figure out which eyeball is bigger because they change. It's really strange, but they change. I'm going to pop out one day. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. But like yeah, you're, you're right, character. though. Like off. The character. last time he, he freaked out, the last time he freaked out, that was the one where he was pun punching himself and freaking out about Grace. This one is by far worse, minus the fact that he actually doesn't vis vi visually hit himself. But the stuff that comes out of his mouth and the threats, it's like something from a horror movie. Well, wow. his whole life is just one, like, big horror movie. I, I Well, I don't know. I don't know. D Daniel, Daniel's scary, like, if you ever meet him in person, but he's a spectacle uh, beyond this, uh, you know, television screen I'm looking at. <laughs> yeah, this is going to give you guys nightmares tonight, I promise. He's not from California, is he? Colorado. He's in Colorado, so you, you should be okay, man. Bomb you! Bomb you! Bomb you! Bomb you! Kill you! Kill you! Kill you! Call the feds on me, you fucking liar! Bomb! 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 Bomb you! Bomb you! Bomb you! Kill, 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 kill! Uh, it's like a demon. <laughs> it's like a demon took over. <laughs> no kidding. What the hell was that noise just now? Jeez. Nice, nice pause face. <laughs> Bro, put the audio in a blender, brother. Yeah, like this is, like I said, the most unhinged I've ever seen him. And he just keeps going about the... Words we're not supposed to say on live stream, and he just repeats them over and over. <laughs> <laughs> he does. I mean, if it goes wrong, like I said, I would just put it on unmonetized or anything like that. Other than that, I've seen some streamers that does this thing, and they never get in trouble for it. For what I'm, you know, I'm saying. I mean, Cyrax. Cyrax had said N word all the time. If I mean, you know what I mean, right? Yeah, except he would add a boy to the end of it, but yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And mostly um, you, uh, you, you covered that. Oh, go ahead, Mark. Mark. Remember? Oh, uh, I, I, why, why, why is the like I've been out of the Daniel loop for like a few days now. What? Why is he angry at Bob? Well, lately, well, I shouldn't say lately. For a while now, ever since um, the second or third time he's been in jail, he's been doing a lot of schizo posting. Um, I don't think his probate part of his probation involves them forcing him to take his Latuta. So I believe his um, schizophrenia has been just, you know, uh, uh, escalating, and considering all the stuff that's been happening to him due to his, you know, his, his own choices. 
Um, he's finally uh, going crazy. He can't really get into hotels because he's been banned from everything. Bucky, I do miss the college arc. The college arc was hilarious. I agree with you wholeheartedly. The college arc was just that 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 was that was beautiful. I mean, ancient Texas. Oh boy, right, right, right. Yeah. But no, Daniels, he, he's losing it. Like, he's just going further and further and further into insanity. And, and this is a perfect example. Maybe Bob probably said he was going to stop giving him money. That would have been enough to set him off. Um, there, there's a lot of things right now, but at this point, he can't really go into restaurants anymore. He's been banned. Can't go to hotels anymore. He's been banned. We're talking about Denver, Gold, Golden... Uh, uh, all those places. He he he's just been banned, so he's not having a good time right now. Yeah, you know, um, the mention in the college arc. I want to see Daniel Larson. You know that statue, the Thinking Man. I want to I want to see him set up like a statue, like the Thinking Man, with his arm or his knuckle against his chin, and he's just looking. Oh down. yeah. I, I want to see that. I want to see that. Or even cooler. Or even cooler. He starts like uh, making monkey noises and slamming his like chest like a silverback. That'd be awesome. I, I can see that. that. I, I can see that. Yeah. 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 That would be very entertaining. <laughs> you know, you put in a quarter and like the, the, the thing moves and, and does the, 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 the monkey stuff. Oh, that'd be great. That'd be awesome. I didn't catch any of that other than that yeah. one word. He said this was a message to the world, and then he proceeded to say the words we're not supposed to say. He uh, also said to every police officer out there. Yeah, I mean, this would be enough to get any reasonable person in, in jail, right? Like, like this is no obviously, like, threatening harm, you know, on, on somebody else or other people, no matter how you yeah. look at it. But, but, how's Colorado going to handle it? Let's hope there's no one near him. Otherwise, they'll be just listening to his craziness. Yeah, but he's in Colorado. Colorado, they've got this... Uh, this <laughs> we, we say that Daniel has this thing called plot armor. I think it has to something, something to do with the state that he lives in. For some reason, they keep treating him like he's a... Uh, they use his disability as an excuse to not really, like, prosecute him to the full extent, so they're always, like, just tapping him with the book rather than just throwing it at him at full speed. Oh, God. Wow. This is the message to the fucking fans. You fucking don't listen to me. I will fucking kill you too. Murder. Bomb you. Fucking White House too. Bomb you. Oh, he said it. <laughs> I I want to see I want to see uh, Joe Biden like walk up to Daniel Larson and go like listen here listen here fat you can't you can't do that to the White House all right we can we we can we can do fish fights we can do uh, Grace Vanderwall wrestling but we can't do that all right we can't you forgot ice cream eating contests oh yeah ice cream eating I don't know I feel like Daniel Larson would win the ice cream eating contest considering he's like a star starving homeless person and I don't know like like I mean he's also young he moves faster than Joe Biden but then again Joe Biden you know I, I don't mean to get like political but I have a feeling that whenever there's ice cream involved you, you know Joe Biden's gonna go nearly feral I agree. I think, you know, and here's the thing with Daniel, too. I think ice cream might be a challenge for him. He likes macaroni and cheese, but I think ice cream might be a challenge. I mean, he's got, like, six or seven teeth, and most of them probably are, like, abscess. So, like, sugar probably hurts his teeth. 
So ice cream, for all we know, might very well be a weakness to Daniel. Though then again, he did drink a milkshake one time. You I know, don't know I man. Yeah. I should have. You know, I should have titled this um, "Lol Cows in the Wild," since we were here in a forest or something like that. <laughs> That would be perfect, though. No, that would be perfect. Yeah, it would. That would be, yeah, perfect. <laughs> okay, Matt, then an impacted tooth. Okay, we'll call it, he has impacted teeth. Is that the correct terms? <laughs> I think his teeth are are wonderful. You know, Count Chocula over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he does little. He does have that Count Chocula look, man. But I, I, I can tell you this, man. You sure as heck don't want to be bit by Daniel. I mean, ooh boy, the bacteria in that man's mouth. Ugh. It'll be a mortal enemy of the hybrid. Ah, it would be like being bitten by a Komodo dragon. All that bacteria, it would like cause instant necrosis to your tissue. <laughs> Go ahead and bear my chin. Make sure I'm home for the rest of my fucking life. Wow. You did it to yourself, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's not. It's like I'm, I, I, you know, I'm surprised his tongue hasn't gone up his nose yet. Usually that happens, but he's too angry to to put that tongue up that nostril and clean up that uh, drip that he's got going. I I wonder, I wonder how long he's been wearing those clothes. I mean, he's probably been wearing them for like, well, I mean, whenever he went to jail, he had to change clothes probably. Um. I, I I don't know. I've been off topic. I've been off uh, off the Daniel Larson subject for so, some time now, and I have no idea what the hell is going on. To answer your question, I think he's been wearing the same clothes for several months. He used to wear that green t-shirt thing. Right now, the jacket that he's wearing, that's the newest item of clothing that he's received, I think. Oh, and look who it is. A Brick oh, look who's wall. here. here. Yeah, yeah, um, help. <laughs> oh, God, I can't. I'm so smooth-brained. What did oh, you do? I am trying. That's what I'm doing. Okay, so are you trying to bring in that VTuber of yours, and instead we got a brick wall? Is that what's going yes, on? Yes, unfortunately. Okay, okay, crazy. okay. Yeah, you know, we got so many of these VTubers in here, you'd figure you'd get the help. We've got, like, the Lost Goomba, we've got Akira, we've got Moth. I figure one of I, you guys would get it. I, got off, my like... sis I, got, I tried to get my sibling to help. Um, they did what they could. Speaking uh, of, don't you guys want to cook that one right there? Here you go. Ah. Yeah. Looks juicy. I don't like mushrooms. <laughs> I'm poisonous. Wait, what? I'm poisonous. You don't like you don't like mushrooms, bro? Have you ever had like stuffed portobello mushrooms before? Oh man, you're missing out. <laughs> Dude, what the hell? Okay. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Poor guys. princess. I need I need I need to, I need to I need connect, connect OBS, OBS to this damn thing. What am I doing wrong? I don't know. It's oh, giving me a it. hard time too, Princess. Don't worry. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <gasps> yes! Ooh. Now I'm phasing <laughs> through the wall. Great. You you I have mean, to you have to push your character out a little bit, so it should give you like a 3D thing, and there should be an arrow that pushes you like forward, kind of like they do in Paint 3D, I would imagine. You know what? Let me see if I can get rid of the wall. Wait, wait. Zazel was the name of a. Oh, no. Well, first of all, wrong, wrong reference. Yeah, that, 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 that last part of my name has nothing to do with that. It has something to do with uh, more Old Testament there, buddy. Well, we're all here, you know. Oh, I. <laughs> no, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, I know you're doing moth. Go ahead. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just going through my like, 
ADHD, like extreme ramblings. You know, I was gonna call us like the 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 fucking Power Rangers, but uh, you know what? I might have to leave the studio for this. You know, if we are the Power Rangers, I want to be. Uh, I want to be the. You're the Pink Ranger. No. <laughs> yeah, you're the Pink Ranger, no. bro. You got the you got the little bow and arrow, you know, and the little pterodactyl thing. Yeah, you're the Pink Ranger. Yeah. Oh, who who agrees? Mothy the Pink Ranger. Actually, actually, yeah, pterodactyls are fucking cool, dude. Don't even ask. Yeah, see, yeah, see, you get the see, you get the pterodactyl. See, you're all set, oh, man. Wait, you wait, get wait, to, wait, yeah. Wait, how come he has to be pink? I want to be pink too. No, no, you get to be the um, you get to be the uh, yeah, you're the blue yeah. ranger. No, you're you get to get the triceratops. You're the blue ranger. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Goomba, Goomba, you get um. You get you get you get the yellow ranger. You know what? Because you've got the teeth already, so it's like a saber tooth tiger. It's just reversed bottom wise. So yeah, you, you get the yeah, you get the yellow I'm ranger. Here. Oh there! Oh look at that! Oh my god! This is happening! Akira, put her on main screen. Oh my god! I'd like to thank the academy. I'd like to thank my mom. Oh wait, no, let's not thank my mom. She does not need any credit for this. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't even! Congratulations, oh it's like seeing the birth of a new creature. I know! The, the new autism creature. What I, what? I like how I like how she's pronounced a creature, not a... Uh, you know... What? There are some... Your VTubers? VTubers are all creatures to me. By the way, what? Styled Let's... Moth, why are you hanging out in Cyrax's crusty room? Uh, he he invited me over. Okay, he invited me over for a good old game of uh, of. Uh, Find the bullet. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> dude, good one. <laughs> find, finding the bullet. You know, I'm digging into all the right holes. Okay. Dude, check the Doritos bag. Check I'll the Doritos bag. Oh, I, I already I'll did. Bet I already you did. Are. I already checked the Doritos bag. There's nothing but a bunch of used needles in there. I probably Ooh. have all kinds of diseases. The oh Goomba man, dude! Asking, wait, yeah. Hold on, the Goomba is asking. Did you find any Goomba around there? Um. Well, you know, if you're asking about, like, I mean, it's true. Cyrax has like mushrooms growing down there. You know, he's got a few Mike Wazowski's, as as the good, holy, filthy Frank would say. Um, several different kinds of uh, bumps and boils. Oh, oh, nice, nice. And, you know, I, I heard along with his bed bugs, he also has a healthy, uh, a healthy case of scabies. Is, is this true? Uh, wrong. It's not scabies. It's actually uh, bed bugs. Get it right. No, no. I said on top of his case with bed bugs, he also has a case of scabies. That's what I was asking. Uh, not, not, well, if he does, I'm not aware of it. I'll probably have it too, so. Take that. Oh, Dang. man. Hey, yeah. Hey, uh, Ew. Akira, what was that thing you usually do when you don't want people, like, using your uh, model as a puppet when they talk? Oh, I, I don't know. You what? Do, is, there, do I, is there a way I can mute myself so that way you guys don't, like, you know? Oh, are you saying when I talk, your voice? Oh, it does. So if I talk, your mouth moves. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Heck yeah, yeah. I wonder if that would see that never worked on Moth. Moth must be like muting us. Man, you, no, gotta, um, you, 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 have to, you have to put it on headphones. Probably that's that's what she needs. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. That's why my mouth doesn't move when uh, yeah, 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 they talk because yeah, I have headphones. So yeah, Hold on. yeah. Um, I have to do something about that. Speaking up, Goomba, you might need to to hide because holy crap, everybody's hungry. Oh no! <laughs> Actually, I had pizza earlier, so yeah, you could always <laughs> go with uh, you know, hot pockets. Ew, I'm good. <laughs> hot pockets have a very ugly aftertaste. Honestly, you if you're buying hot pockets, it, it's like why you know you you could just buy a pizza and it would be better and roughly you know the same price. You want to know what has a really nasty aftertaste? No. Starbucks. I don't. It doesn't, especially like the hot drinks. It doesn't matter. Okay, what I'm is. glad she was at least sticking to something like that, like PG. That's good. <laughs> you 
really thought. Oh, I didn't think at all. I, I was just, you know. Well, I mean, you, you were right about half of that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Daniel, right? Daniel. Uh, uh, yeah, Daniel. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I, I love me some terror bird uh, footage, you know. It's always awesome seeing the, the long beaked, like a uh, man bird thing roaming around the coast of coast uh, Colorado <laughs> uh, because yes, Colorado is a coastal state. Of course it is. You know, it's up there next to uh, the Gulf of Mexico. Um, I, I don't know. I wonder how many, um, I wonder how many headphones are deep in the rivers around Colorado and how many how many fish are using those headphones? You know, I wonder what they're listening to. I always like Kanye to West. They I, I was listen, no, they, they they're they listening to Kanye listen, West. They're listening to gay fish, yeah. Exactly. Gay fish. Yep. <laughs> exactly. I, fish I, listen I, to I, Kanye West. Everyone knows that. Mm-hmm. They lo- uh he loves that um fish sticks, right? He loves oh, he fish. loves fish sticks. He, he, we ask when he puts, you know, hey, do you put fish sticks in your mouth? And he's like, yep. So, yeah, he, he's he's definitely a, a very happy fish. He, it yeah. probably never gets old for him. Poor <laughs> Kanye West. Let me let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Um, who who would you rather have to give a good old smooch to? And it has to be uh, it has to be. On the lips, okay. No, your doubt. mom. Okay, that, I didn't even, oh, I even say yes. Okay, I already got know him. you have good relationships with my mother, Christopher Zadel. Um, yeah, right. First of all, for six long years, I have been with your mom, bitch. I'm glad daddy, you're treating don't hit my mommy, mom. Daddy, so well. don't hit mommy. Daddy, don't hit mommy. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, Moth. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, uh, I, oh yeah, that's right. I remember. <laughs> uh, so you can either smooch Daniel Larson or Cyrax. Which one are you smooching? Oh, um, so you have no choice. It's like you have to do one or the other. There's, there's no like third option. No third oh. option. If you try and make a third option, you have to. Do oh both. no! Oh no! Oh. What have I done? All right, guys. Um, ooh, oh. man. <laughs> And it has oh to be on the lips. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, that, 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 that is... <laughs> yeah. Abby, really? Abby said Daniel twice. You kiss Daniel Larson over Cyrax? Uh, I mean, Abby must be pretty excited since uh, guys. you know she said Daniel twice. D- guys, three I times now. <laughs> Whoa! Oh man. Guys, I screwed up. I, I I'm trying to connect my headphones to uh the uh the okay you know what you know what it, it's no, gonna be no, no 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 hear me out it... i accidentally connected it to my dad's speakers in the living room oh perfect so he can hear me awesome so hey um miss mr mr princess otaku um your your daughter is really funny and 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 she she's a goofball did wait, he hear no, that what did, wait, wait, I, no, what did I, already, be... I already what? disconnected it <laughs> but wait wouldn't he be king Yes. Wait, what? Well, oh, yeah, King. Yeah, you're right. right. You're right. King Princess Otaku. <laughs> I like how even outside my chat, like, Bucky's harassing me about the freaking, uh, <laughs> about the maid outfit. You know, you know. Um, uh, oh, you know what? Real. If you put Cyrax in a maid outfit, I'd probably prefer kissing Cyrax. No, I'm just kidding. I don't want to kiss either of them. That just sounds terrible. Um, um, you you still haven't. It, nobody's though. chosen yet. I All right, you mean, know what? You know what? You know what? Um, based on the fact that at least Cyrax kind of lives in a home. Oh no, I don't want to make this. You know what? Your your first princess. Help me out, or or Rose. You you two decide first. Me personally, I would I would choose uh, Cyrax. No, I would choose Daniel because Daniel, I don't think he eats his, you know, uh, bodily fuck. Uh, he brushed his teeth with the oh, yeah. toothbrush. That's right. I forgot yes. about that. Yes. 
Good you, Lord. you forgot oh, about wait, that. Wait. Yeah, dude. Hello, here. Um. Hey, Moth. Hey, Moth. Hmm. Daniel yes. is a cute VTuber. Shut up. I don't need that. <laughs> Shut up. You know, he, I, th I think Daniel would love a kiss from his slay, slay moth. S slay moth on YouTube needs to stop talking about me or I'm going to sue him. <laughs> yeah, dude, he's going to get the Vanderwall team on you. Oh, yeah. Like, my girlfriend is really going to come after me. Right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, it stands to reason. <laughs> Are you still trying to figure that out, princess? She her, her VTuber uh, is struggling. Uh, all right, can you guys uh, hear me? Okay. Yeah, yes. I can hear you. Yeah, yeah. you're clear. You're clear. You're clear. But I do hear some uh, window Ten sound four. effects in the background. Oh my yeah. god! You're still puppeteering me. Oh my god, this sucks. Oh yeah, cool. Hi, my name is Princess Otaku six six six. It's nice to meet all of you. You know what? Oh, that's cool. Seven days, man. You got seven days. Oh, no. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. Here we go. Hey, oh, come on no. now. <laughs> At least hey, I oh. didn't watch it. Hey, I, hey, I Chris. You can, no, you got to say that. Seven days. You got to yeah. say it that way. Seven days. I'll figure it out. It's whatever, man. Wait, maybe I could try muting. Maybe that that'll do. And and then Jessica would be like, "I want to play games." <laughs> Jessica, Jessica is a beautiful young lady. Okay, just because she looks like some kind of cyclops with two eyes instead of one doesn't make <laughs> her any less valuable. Well, well, I would say that Jessica is well. Probably the closest living thing we'll ever see that would resemble a hag raven from Skyrim, in my personal and humble opinion, of course. This was... Well... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let me think about that. She basically has all of the qualifications to be the perfect swamp hag. She looks like a, a, a sausage if it grew limbs. <laughs> Wait. Ooh, a really <laughs> gross and wrinkly sausage. <laughs> a wrinkly sausage with really saggy, um, with a really uh, saggy chest that is in dire need of a, in dire need of support. <laughs> oh yeah, you didn't see that video, did you, Moth? You know that video of Jessica. Oh, I mean, I've seen like. What what do you okay define that video? Are you talking about the where, one like, that I really warned you about? Where I was like, you really don't want to watch it. That one. Oh no, 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 no. The no, one no, I got no, from Akira. No, that no, one. No, 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 oh, no, oh, no. what? Mm. You don't want to know. I I feel like I mean I've seen so many things in my time. Okay, I've already seen uh, Jessica. Jessica not wearing clothes at all. No, no, I wait. No, I haven't seen her uh, nude. I have never seen her nude. Then you didn't I, watch the video I sent you, so that's good. You you don't have to. You don't have to. You know, take your eyeballs out. So wait. So wait, Zazel. You want? You don't want me to watch a video that you sent to me that gave me the option of watching it. Now, now, now that I I think better of it, and and I realize how innocent and 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 you know, I just don't want you to be so corrupt. And you know what? We're very lucky because that Reddit video has been taken off. However, however, Akira still does have access to it, so I could still have it sent to you, no, no. dude. Yo, you know what? No, um, I'm 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 gonna send it, but I'm not watching it. Heck, no. yeah, yeah, you're still having post traumatic stress disorder I, after the last. I'm time. not gonna watch it. Uh, what if you what if you one uploaded one. it up to Corn Cub? Well, um, I don't know. See, here's the thing: I don't know who would actually watch this for its intended purposes. I mean, you'd have to be very. Well, it'd well, be it'd a be... funny little trolling thing. Like, imagine how Je how Jessica would feel if she found out that her you know thing was up there on the hub. Oh, she already got like flipped out that it was on Reddit. In fact, that's how Josh found out about what she used to do. So, oh. like, yeah, apparently he's, uh, from what I understand, he's seen the video or at least has heard about it, and apparently it doesn't seem to bother him at all. Go figure. 
I mean, well. Yeah. Honestly, like, I know that I remember yesterday someone mentioned, like, calling the ASPCA on one of the cats. But if anyone needs to have the ASPCA called up on them, it is definitely, um, definitely Cobes. He sure. doesn't have he doesn't have an animal anymore. Oh no no no! I'm no. He's, he's the one, he's the animal. Oh yeah. Well, there, there's that. But no, Puff. Oh man. You know, guys, guys in chat, let's let's get an F for Puff. Let's let's get an F what for are you poor Puff. About? What are you talking Puff. about? Puff is like a bird in the floor somewhere, and he's just gonna come out of hibernation any day now. No, 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 Puff. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure when Jessica was under the influence of her. Whatever amphetamines she was under, she while well, she was cleaning the house for Cobra, I'm pretty sure she found poor little, uh, poor little uh, Puff's, uh, you know, his little shell. If you get my drift, and she probably was just like, "Oh, that's pretty funny, huh, Joshy? I found Puff." <laughs> I feel oh, like that, she is, would... <laughs> that is messed up. I feel like she would eat, eat 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 Puff if she found him. You know, I mean, like a witch. I, I mean, I wouldn't put it past King Cobra. You know, I've said this on several occasions. You know, I got puffers. I turned him into a mead. You know, it's that's, that's what's up, YouTube. Let me try out this puffers mead. Ah, oh, that's, that's delicious, YouTube. So I love that's it. most definitely you what's up, YouTube. <laughs> that someone's gonna clip those surfing sounds and make an asmr out of it i Ugh. i oh don't boy. care yeah i've said so many things in my time really you said so many things in your time huh no <laughs> we forgot about the daniel video is he still i think he's got a little bit more screaming to go uh, screaming to do Oh, man. Oh, right. We still need to finish the video. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we kind of got lost. Is, speaking of that, we're going to watch... Speaking of King Cobra's dish and maids and stuff like that, we are going to watch some King Cobra JFS um, from... Is this from Boglin Chronicles? Is that right? Um, the title of this video is Stuff in, Stuff in My Face. Oh, yeah. That's Boglin Chronicles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Only the best with Boglum Chronicles, man. Cuts all the boring stuff and gives us the good content. Love you, Boglum Chronicles. Love you lots. Thanks, Boggy. Oh, God. I forgot we were looking at this. <laughs> look at that face. Just look at that face. I mean, <laughs> would you kiss that? Would you kiss that face? No, he no. looks like the wind punched him. I'm good, fam. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Fell down the ugly tree, hit every single branch on the way down, man. Yeah, genetics were not his friend today. Never his friend, man. He used to look like an old man when he's back at that tennis and youth center. Oh, God. So I thought I he looked like a rat. My opinion. I, you know, uh, no, you're not half wrong. But like He kind of has some ratty vibes to him. I always I thought that. He's honest. like a mix between like like a rodent of some kind, like a gopher or or a mole rat, and then you cross that with like a Colorado vulture, right? And then you get Daniel Larson because he's like this like bird too, so he's like a bird with buck teeth. It's really strange. I no, I think he's more like Master Splinter. Oh no! Don't <laughs> insult Master Splinter like that, oh, dude. Come on. Uh -uh. <laughs> Master Splinter was cool, man. I, I mean, no, man. Ninja Turtles was, was no. Nah. Chillest rat in the world. respect to Spinner. He never bothered yeah. anybody because he was in the sewers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like a mole rat or something, like ugly, or like 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 a oh, like a God. fat pudgy gopher, like you know, like 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 punctuatory Phil from like Groundhog's Day, like that. Like take that buck tooth face and then put bird features on it, and you got Daniel. You know, well, you, you want to know what's interesting? The one time they managed to make a naked mole rat adorable is through Kim Possible. I. It's 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 um. I know what you're talking about. I know I know what cartoon you're talking. It's the only cartoon that will ever have a naked mole rat that looks cute because every other one looks like what you see in Fallout Four. They are these ugly things with huge buck teeth, and they just. Ugh. I'm gonna be real, man. I feel like I can't show one of those things without a sensor on it. Eh. 
I, I think he looks like a strapping young lad. He looks like he's got the life ahead of him. So you would kiss Daniel over over Cyrax. It's been decided. All right. Uh, no, I didn't say that. You still haven't given me an answer. Either. I don't want to give you an answer because both are beyond disgusting. They're both like, they sound like tortures that you would have to endure in like, you know, the pits of hell. Oh, so, so. Stuff that I miss, like missed out on because I had to set things up. It's a shame. You so, know what? Here's what I would do. I would, I, I would, I would choose randomly. I would do, I would do a random choice, and then before I had to do it, I, I would, I would take a plethora of different things to, 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 to numb my nerves and senses, and, uh, and, and just hope for the best. And then after the, the task was done, I would rinse my mouth with drain cleaner. Dude, considering that autistic people have a really sensitive nervous system, uh, it would take like multiple tranquilizers. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, you know, honestly, blindfold me and just say random, because honestly, I can't decide. They're both, they're both beyond disgusting. They're, they, they, there's, there's really not, uh, uh, you can't. You see what I'm saying? I, 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 I no, I don't know what you're saying. Hostile. I'd be one. I'd rather be one of the hostile victims. You, you know the, you know the movie. Oh, I don't yeah. know about that. No, uh, it's like but, the one where like people get tortured and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is the this is the same thing. It's just you have to kiss one of these horror cows. That's the only difference. So you're saying, so you're saying, you're willing to take like bamboo, like shoved in your fingertips, then uh, kiss either Daniel Larson or Cyrax. Yeah. I don't know about the finger. I don't know about the bamboo shoots up the fingernails part. That that came out randomly. What are you into, Moth? I'll walk oh. it off. Oh, uh, I I heard that it was a torture method used in certain countries. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Like my home country of Korea. Yeah, we do that all the time. Oh, how um, is don't... Korea going? Oh, you know, it's pretty nice. The silkworms are out. You know, eating our enemies. It's, yep, it's yep, beautiful yep. this time of year. He looks like the rat bird from Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. You know? You know, Bucky, you're not I wrong. I haven't seen that movie in a long time, and I'm not the biggest fan of those type of, like, I, I don't know. There was just something about the art style that kind of uh, upset me. I don't know what it was. <laughs> Dude, what if Studio Ghibli made, an like, an anime and made it about Daniel Larson. Like, imagine a Studio Ghibli founded anime and they did, like, the detail. And they made, like, an anime of, like, Daniel Larson being some kind of, like, mythical monster or something. Are you? Okay, okay, now I have to I can to just ask, picture that. I, can, I just pictured that. Yes, I'm always, every time. You never oh have to ask God. that. Hey, Proto. Hi, Proto. Gino. <laughs> <laughs> we the oh, I, I, oh, my, I can just picture uh like uh being voiced by that character in uh what's it uh, the boy in the I forget the name of that the anime movie that came out by G Studio Ghibli. Which one? There's so many. The Howl's Moving Castle, Spirited Away. Not the recent one. Princess Mononoke. Uh, that Dude, one, yeah. Like, a boy in his Mononoke. A in his harem. I think is what it's called. Oh, I haven't watched that one yet. Oh, yeah. Okay. The last one I watched, I think, was was it Ponyo? I think that was the last one I watched. Yeah, yeah. Same Ponyo was cool. Um, yeah, yeah. I like the food scene when they did the like the ramen <clears throat> scene. That was like awesome. It made me hella hungry. If there's one thing Studio Ghibli can definitely do, it's like make food look delicious. Yeah, oh, they exactly. do. Yeah, oh my hungry. goodness, Howl's Moving Castle. Yes, Abby. Yeah, oh that's my a good God, anime the too. Bacon so, and the eggs and the Natsuka, White Warriors of the Wind. That's that one too. Princess Mononoke. Nausicaa? Nausicaa? Are you talking about Nausicaa? Nausicaa, yeah. Valley yeah, of yeah. the Wind. Yeah, that, that one, one, one was. Mm, out of I all the ones, that one was. Office flop. Yeah, it was. I ended up buying it like back back in the day. I had it like on VHS and then yeah, I had it to VHS too. It was actually it was actually what introduced me to anime. That movie actually. Yeah, I mean it was it was okay. It was just kind of like uh, I'll be honest. It was one of those animes I would put in like if I wanted to fall asleep and I was having insomnia. It was like uh, right there with wow. like Mushishi. Wow, that boring. I, yeah. 
Yeah, I would put I in. I would it. put in either Nausicaa or Mushishi. Those two would knock me out. With with Jessica um, right. next to you, right? That oh gosh, Jessica! Oh man, man. Oh, Jessica's yeah. bath wasn't, scenes. Yeah, that that'll make me sleep. Wasn't that also like the first like Studio Ghibli movie? Like what ever? Nausicaa? Yes. Yeah, I, think. Uh, I thought it was uh, Kiki's Delivery Service. Uh, no, it's not. You know, not? Oh. Kiki's Delivery Service was actually my introduction to anime. Yeah. Like when I was a little little kid, I had the um, I had these like VHS tapes of like Disney movies and stuff. And they would show, like, before the movie itself, they would show, like, trailers of other films and stuff. And what I, I think quite a couple of them had trailers to Kiki's Delivery Service. And it's like, it, it was like, yes. And it was just like, and just like that, I was hooked. The music, the art style, the idea of a, of a cute little girl using her broom to fly. Like, dude, how could I not? It made you feel like the first time you learned about Cyrax, right? It was the same exact feeling. Don't you ever say that again. <laughs> <laughs> and we can't we can't also forget I about my name though. My, oh you know, man. We are so off topic. Yeah, we are so yeah. off topic. Uh, oh you're right. tried to kill me. Hotel <laughs> tried to kill me. Hotel tried to kill me. Streamlabs forgot about me. You need to you, you need to calm down there, uh, Daniel. There, uh, Larson. There's no calming him down. Are you kidding me? I, I Thorazine think, man. I, I think I he's very on that calm. stuff. That's some that's some nasty nasty tonic right there. Perfect for Daniel. He deserves nothing less. I I disagree. I disagree. <laughs> Daniel Larson has the patience. You know, I, I believe Cyrax said it earlier, but I'll say it about Daniel. Um, uh, Daniel Larson has the patience of a Shaolin monk, you know, I mean, pure patience, you know, complete, complete control over his emotions, doesn't flip the fuck out, uh, completely. What utterly- are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Moth? <laughs> Moth, what have you been drinking? What have you been smoking? <laughs> No, no, okay. he doesn't. He doesn't smoke. But, buddy, I know, I know, I know. I know he doesn't smoke. How much you had I know. I, okay, I, I, it's just you're you're saying all of this while we're looking at a picture of Daniel <laughs> looking at us back at us completely unhinged. You know what? <laughs> Did anyone? It's perfect. You guys might want to, you guys might want to screen cap this because I I can see this being a very nice little um damn thumbnail next time we talk about him. We well, it is it, yep. it is a beautiful look. I mean, he even got a little bit of snot dripping from his left nostril. You see it? Yeah, it it, it is quite beautiful. And and plus, you get the two different sized eyes. Yeah, this, this time this it's the right be, eye that's bigger. This, this will be the great freaking wallpaper from like family pictures right here. You should put it through <laughs> AI to enhance it, make it better. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh! No, no what, amount what? of AI can fix that. Let's be real. But but I do want to point out the jowls. Look at the jowls on this man. Now, mind you, he's only 26 years old. Look at those jowls. Those are like the jowls of a 60-year-old man. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, he looks jowls? Wait, wait. The same age as I thought he was 60 high. myself. Wow, he's that young? Yeah, he's only 26. Yeah, he was yeah, 25. He recently turned 26, and he looks like he's in his 50s. Wait, when was his birthday? Yeah, yeah. Uh, his birthday, I don't know, but his last paperwork from when he was in jail the last time, they put age 26 instead of age 25. So at some point between the two recent jails, he's had a birthday. I just don't know what, which one it was. Either but way, it did say on his last intake paperwork that he was 26 years old. Yeah, it sounds to me like he's just older, by, older than me by a couple months. I don't know. I don't know, but he definitely doesn't look, uh, he, he, he's kind of like Jessica. Like, Jessica claims she's only 39 years old, and she looks like she could be 58, 59, maybe. This is the face he's gonna show for Grace Vanderwall. That's not, it is beautiful. Oh, that is man. definitely not a face even a mother would love. <laughs> The only no, thing that no, would make this it... will raise up all the ladies, man. Don't even doubt it. This will raise up all the ladies. You know, really? if you're living in the Colorado state, be careful. You know, hide really? your hide your wives, really? hide your girlfriends. Daniel Larson's gonna steal them from you. 
okay, then why isn't it working on me? Hmm? Care, uh, care, care to elaborate why it's not working on me? You're not in Colorado. Mute point. I call BS. You know what? If you were in Colorado, you know, I, I bet you would have like, you know, a, a bunch of um, roaring thunder um, posters in your bedroom. Like, you know, yeah. If I was in another state that I'm not used to being in, I feel like I need to be armed at all times. Imagine, imagine he have that twilight shining thing on his body and all that stuff. That would be very oh, attractive. Yeah. Talking about sparkling in the sun, yeah, that would be weird. Mm -hmm. It would um, be, you know, <laughs> well, I, I'm sure he already does. It's just all of the body oils and stuff that's accumulated on his skin from never bathing. So, like, his skin starts to kind of flake off, and that oil residue that surrounds the skin flakes just sparkles in the sun. But then again, you're 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 too busy trying to gasp for air because the stench from Daniel is so powerful that you don't even notice the sparkly stuff. Pleasantries do not exist in his world. <laughs> well, no, I mean, oh god, just that face. We keep staring at that face. I can't stop staring at that face. Press play, please. Yes, please, 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 please. And yet, that's still better than staring at Jessica. Like a face of death. God, when I play, when when I press play, I'm not even joking, dude. Like, holy crap, this is what happened. I'm not even joking. Look at that. Look what happened to the search. Oh, it's not showing, but you know, it shows the word. Look what you've done, K. Daniel. Look what you've done. You ruined it. You ruined everything. Daniel, Daniel broke the internet. Yeah, no, it, it, what happened was it shows on the search bar, it says triple K. I'm not even joking. Daniel, you cited all that hate. Damn, Daniel. Oh man, it's your fault. It's always your fault. <laughs> it's always his fault. But he, you know, he's because he's a lol cow. He's not going to admit to that. He's a <laughs> horror cow. Horror cow, Princess Daniel oh. is a horror cow. Oh, my mistake. What? That sounded like a bird. Is he saying pom 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 or bomb? What? <laughs> oh, God, He's bad. saying the you know how you've got you've got Goombas in Mario Brothers and then you've got those little um uh actually you could def technically call, we could call it a a a ba ba a ba ba a what's the word we could get away with? God, that was dude the 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 the, the, the stuff dripping down his nose was so nasty. Oh my God. Lord. All I'm gonna say is like you know Goombas need to like be careful with this person right here because this will eat Goombas. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to keep your doors locked at night, buddy. Yeah. You no, know, he's literally threatening the White House. He's threatening so many different things. Police, what have you? This whole video right here, it's just gonna be added to his his uh. His incidents, but I mean, will anything you know arise out of it? Will he be arrested, or will yeah. any charges be thrown? I don't know. Probably wait, not. Wait, wait, wait. Correct me if I'm wrong. But isn't Goomba, Goomba like a slur? Huh? Uh, Goomba technically, I think it's an Italian term for like a dumbass or something. Yeah. Uh, wait. Uh. So. So it's is it a, is it a slur that he, that they use? I wouldn't know. Oh God, moth behind you, Cyrax is behind you. Whoa! Oh, I I don't, don't care. see. I I don't see what uh being with Cyrax has to do with anything. Um, He's right you know, behind you, dude. It's a matter of life or death. <laughs> oh, dude, that is weird, man. Yeah, yeah, Moth, you left your back door open, bro. Oh, oh, thanks. Hold on. Oh, okay. All right. Let me. I gotta find. A... I gotta. You know what? I think I kind of want to. Uh, have. I think I want to go in the back rooms later. I just gotta find the right thing. 
Oh yeah, you can put backdrops on your guys' little VTube models. That's right. That's right. You remember, you, yeah, didn't, like did. it. you didn't like it yeah, when I was I in the back rooms last time, though, did you? Don't do the back rooms because you're gonna give Moth nightmares. Ah, uh, yes, I'm the nightmares. Do it, though. You Moth hasn't touched, touched the back rooms for am, for, for days living, now. You gotta it's remember, I am the living embodiment of uh, do it anyway. <laughs> Oh, oh, and I'm looking it up, by the way, what Goomba means in Italian. I'm trying to find out what it actually means. I still having trouble with your YouTube model, uh, uh, Princess? Pardon? Are you still having trouble with your, uh, uh, getting everything to work? Um, I'm not having any issues so oh, far. Okay. The only problem I might be having is that, like, whenever someone else speaks, my, uh, my character's lips will move. Oh. When I'm not speaking, so it's like, yeah, that's something I'm gonna have to figure out yeah. later. <laughs> Let me try something. Hello, I'm oh, Princess Otaku. Don't, don't that's do it, please. Oh, Goomba isn't a bad word at all, Princess. <clears throat> <laughs> no, it actually, it's it's um a perfect uh, use for it is he's my friend for life. He's my Goomba. That's a perfect like. Like, yeah, like, there's... Then yeah, who, I, made, who made the misconception that it was a slur? I don't know. It means technically a slur, but it's not, like, a bad what? slur. Slur doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing. At least I don't think it does. Uh, well, I mean, as far as I know, a slur is basically, like, the worst oh, oh, oh. thing you can call someone, and it makes you lose your job. Well, uh, technically, Goomba's I mean, not a slur. Well, Oh no, um, Goomba is worried. You guys are talking about Goomba. Well, yeah, yeah, because you know, tasty mushrooms. Uh, uh oh, <laughs> oh man. Uh. <laughs> and meanwhile, we've got Daniel over here looking off into the distance like he's running for presidential election. So let's press play because I'm tired of looking at him like this. Yeah. Oh, oh he is hitting himself. Oh, oh yeah. he is hitting himself. Oh, okay. Uh -uh. Come on, man. Like, dude, I remember when I was a little kid, I used to do that. But you know what my dad actually managed to do to get me to stop? Helmet. He put a helmet on me, so whenever I did it, that was like a deterrent. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, you know, Sailor, yeah. you know, Sailor, you know, I can imagine you being like the rhino from Spider Man. You just like this big, hulking mass of destruction, like slamming into walls and shit. And, and your entire like personality is the exact opposite because, uh, I don't know, VTuber. <clears throat> hey, look. He's just, he's just doing what he loves, man. He just he just likes to he just likes to go through walls, man, and there's nothing wrong with that. Honestly, honestly, if you could like like build a build like make a building specifically uh meant to burst through its walls, I would definitely do it. You know, if it's just like really soft drywall or something. Mm. Like, uh, imagine, imagine being, like, a Kool-Aid man. Just like, oh, yeah, you know. Or or even better, you burst through the wall and you're just like, bitch! I you would know? probably choose to, let, yeah, yeah. But, but break through the drywall and just be like, yeah, man. Yeah. I yeah, like man. The, yeah. I like to eat the, the nice, like, uh, cotton candy uh, left by the construction company. I love that shit. It tastes delicious. That's it just cuts your tongue up a little bit, but it's fine. That's asbestos. You don't want the. No, that that's not asbestos. He's he's talking about the he's talking about the insulation. He's talking about the the fiberglass insulation, oh. cotton candy, <laughs> the stuff that would make his mouth bleed. Didn't they use make use it with asbestos? Have you, have moth? Have have you ever? Okay, like if you ever wanted to like do a prank on somebody, what you do is you grab like a big sheet of that. And then you smack it on somebody else's arm or something like that, and their arm will be itching for like two days. <laughs> oh my god, that's dude! I wait. Aren't there some people that are allergic to that stuff? 
I, I don't know. I'm just saying it's that that's what we used to do as kids, man. If we found like sheets of fiberglass, <laughs> we would smack. Yeah. Damn, that's Hold on, I'll be right up. back. I'll be right back. It oh, makes you right. itch so bad. I'm telling you, it's like this really annoying itch that just never goes away. <laughs> At least oh. it feels like that. Yeah, yeah, fiberglass sucks. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure some people go to the hospital for, for that. Oh, oh, oh. Well, you know, not, only if you do what moth does and eat it. Yeah, I it, it's tasty, man. I'll, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. Um... I, I, I don't know. I, I'm trying to think of something that Hank Hill would say in this situation. That's not about propane. There's this one really cool quote I remember from Hank Hill. Um, he was trying to give Bobby like work advice, and and it was it's, it's actually good advice. You know, uh, Hank Hank from King of the Hill. He said, um, "Find something that nobody wants to do, but do it better." Oh yeah, I do remember that episode. Yeah, yeah, that was uh, wow. yeah, mean, yeah. That's a, and, that's a good. That's a good. Uh, that's a good form of advice because it's yeah, like. It is. It, it's remember like, this, Bobby. Oh. Remember this, Bob. Bob, I tell you this: if I catch you with that peanut butter, I won't let you have it no more. You know, <laughs> I like I liked Cotton. Cotton was the coolest character from from King of the Hill. You know, uh, I don't know, Hank's dad. Years. But oh, yeah, oh. Cotton, yeah, yeah, the little oh, yeah. guy. I lost my shins, Hank. They took my shins. I want to throw that guy in a washing machine. You know, I, I want to I'm gonna take him over to the laundry man and just like dunk him in there, watch him spin. To be honest, though, I that's really like that's Cotton mean. Out. I, like I, I know, like um, I know he technically made the character, and he didn't really have anything much else to do with it. But I just like Daria, man. She, <laughs> she, she is my, she is my spirit animal. Your Hank Hill sounds like Forrest Gump. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, Mama God. said, Mama said, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. I love you, Jenna. Uh, Cyrax, why are you whipping your ding a -ling out, Cyrax? Wait, wait what? I had to go what? pay. Oh my god. Why, why Cyrax ever... Goblin? Why he look like that? Does, does anyone ever think that it's possible that, like, uh, Forrest Gump could have been on the spectrum? There's no <laughs> doubt about that, Jenna. You know, I, I want, I, if, if, like, if Forrest Gump was a real person and like he met Cyrax, I feel like Forrest Gump would rip him apart. Like no joke. Like I mean, Forrest Gump does get kind of violent in the movie. Oh, whatever. Yeah. Like, dude, he was he was he was in World War Two, man, or in Vietnam. He was in Vietnam, dude. Even, he was he was a hardened war soldier. It's not even that. He had feelings for a girl that clearly didn't feel anything back towards him. But, well, she like, almost gave him venereal disease, but aside from that. Oh God! You know I damn. Who who's a better girlfriend, you know Jessica what? or Jenna? If that's the oh, case, definitely not leave Jenna. She's much prettier than if, Jessica. If, I don't remember that. I haven't seen that movie in years. I totally Chris, forgot if about that's that. The case. Do not ever call me Jenny again. Hello, <laughs> Jenna. Hello, Jenna. <laughs> Hello, <Jenna>. Goomba. <laughs> Hello, Moth. Hello, you know, Christopher. Chances are that instead of getting the newspaper in the in the morning, you're gonna you're gonna be met with a uh, flaming bag of dog turd. It's gonna be Nutella. Oh my oh, god! Shit. Oh my god! The you Nutella. guys love that. That was quick, right? That was quick. That was a good oh, one. Oh, no, that's a good one. Yeah. Do you oh. know, Moth, do you know, uh, okay, so I've talked about Chili and stuff like that. You know, Cyrax defended that guy, right? We oh, have a video uh, of him defending. Oh, oh yeah. he did? I didn't yes. know that. Although it oh. didn't seem like he was defending him, it seemed like more like it's it, it seemed to have escalated. At, like, Wait, but does 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 Moth know the context of the the Nutella where um he thinks it was Kate who put well he claimed it was Kate who put dog poop in a bag. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, he was like going after Mastral Mafia trying to. He basically put he what's the word I want to use? He he tries to frame her, basically making it look like she somehow like 
pranked his house and put dog poop in a bag and then put it on his door handle. And then somehow there were these um, letters that she left, but oddly enough, they were from the inside of his house put on his windows rather than from the outside of his house, like most people would put them. So, yeah, anyway, it turns out it wasn't dog poop. It was only Nutella. He even licks his hand. I mean, it was really stupid. Honestly, yum, he's yum, not yum. very good at getting people in trouble. Yeah. You know, it, bad acting, uh, I would say. Really bad acting. You know, I mean, it's only logical, you know, that he would lick his hand with brown substances on it. Or even better, you know, he would get the brown substance on his hand that he doesn't know <laughs> the origins of. And then also taste it, you know, that that's also a really oh, smart yeah. thing. Well, yeah, that's the way you do it. Everyone knows if you're know, not sure about the brown substance that's on your hands, you know, you're, you're taught in school to, to, to taste it. Use, you use, your, use your, your senses, right? Yeah. Ew, good lord. I love the fact that he tried to uh, uh, submit it to court. That was, yeah. Did he, he tried to submit the Nutella, the Nutella to court? No, the video. Oh, the video. okay. The video. Yeah, not a the lot Nutella. of good that did him, and now look, he's still dropping soap. <laughs> he's like, this Nutella was used against me. These are the damages. <laughs> he's in jail now. <laughs> He if that's how he, if that's how he tries to get people in trouble in the in the real world, I'd really hate to see what his school life was like. Oh, definitely. Actually, no. I kind of want. I think I want to see that. That sounds really entertaining as hell. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Oh, oh that's a good, good. That's a good. Um, oh, I want to draw that. Oh, I want to draw that. That's beautiful right there. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to oh. do that face in my nightmares tonight. Sometimes I... it, there's it's kind of it's like sometimes you see something moving and you think to yourself, man, I wish I could draw movement like that. Well, I just screen capped it for you. <laughs> It's it's look at that like he's got he even got like moisture dripping off the tip of his giant nose. He's got his two buck teeth sticking out perfectly. I mean, aside from the 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 coat taking away some of his face, I mean, it's almost a perfect picture. It really is. He looks uh yeah, look at all those wrinkles on his forehead. I mean, it's perfect. That's 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 great. When when Disney inevitably remakes Star Wars like, you know, because you know they always do that they always remake movies but whenever they do they need to hire daniel larson to act as emperor palpatine oh, oh yeah why not oh i can do see it. that i could i could definitely see that <laughs> use the dark side it makes you stronger do it the rebel tried to kill me the rebel tried to kill me the rebel tried <laughs> shut up daniel larson you have failed me for the last time. <laughs> you know, I remember when I was um, uh, a few years ago, uh, I went to this like event and there was a, uh, like a guy dressed up as Darth Vader. And I, and I kind of like remembered like this, this joke from a uh, triumph the insult comic dog and i was just like that was my chance <laughs> so i said i went up to him and i said so uh, this this machine on your chest that 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 gives you the ability to breathe right so which one of those buttons do you use to uh call your parents to pick you up when you're done <laughs> that is glenn sario right there wow. the dark bather huh? <sighs> oh Ah, Lord I'll, I'll Vader. Welcome back, Lord Vader. <laughs> I'll sweep your leg. Honestly, <laughs> I kind of... I remember also seeing a comic where um, where Anakin, which is basically Darth Vader like in beta, uh, beta demo mode, um, and like he chokes the life out of his wife and like she's like enjoying it, <laughs> and he's like, "What?" 
<laughs> what? For real? Was this in the prequels? I don't remember this. Um, it was like a fan comic from like. Oh, okay. Yeah. Honestly, I really whoever made that that was amazing. Don't oh, stop. definitely. I'm like what? She was oh, like, boy. murder, Ani. Yes. <laughs> oh god, beautiful. All I remember is uh, the only thing I remember from the people is I hate sand or something. Sand, it's I don't remember the actual quote. So. Oh yeah, it gets everywhere, man. Didn't you know? <laughs> Oh no, 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 don't do it. Do not go. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> was he was he gonna do that to himself on the concrete? Maybe, that, that dude. That, I swear to God, I, dude, I don't know if it's because it's really windy out, but I am getting some like found footage vibes from this. Yeah, this looks like he's about ready to no clip into the back room. So I'm right there with you. Um, if he's there, I'm definitely getting the almond water. Abby was asking what triggered Daniel to do this, and the question is, um, anything and everything? Oh, God. Pretty much. More than likely, Bob just decided to stop sending him money, and this is his response, which uh -huh. sounds about right. I think it's very reasonable. You know, if, you, if you're, like, receiving money from somebody with, no actual like work put into it you know and that person stops sending you money you know th this is obviously like the most adult reaction that you can have you know i mean i mean i think i think daniel's taking it pretty well um all things considering okay. oh i agree i think he is yeah he's definitely handling it like a professional singer songwriter would absolutely Yes, we get it. I don't. Did you see all that mucus and stuff on the yeah, side of the mouth yeah, and face? That. I did not. Oh. Dude, frogs don't even excrete that much mucus. My God, no offense. To yeah, frog. that was gross, dude. That was like that, that, that right there. That ugh. That was nasty. Well, it's weird because he kind of did the same thing in the last video that Moth brought up. Remember the one we we were talking about earlier, where he started like hitting himself and stuff. That one. There's a part in it where he just like spits this like mucusy stuff comes out of his mouth in the middle of it. Usually, um, based shaman will stop the video before we see that part, but oh, it's there and it's really gross. God, is it, wait, is it coming out of his nose or it? mouth? I wasn't sure. Uh, um, well, in this video, it was both his mouth and his nose. In the first one, where we saw him really, really just beat beat the ever living whatever oh, out of yeah, himself I, I did, yeah i did see that yeah there, there was he has some stuff coming out of his mouth and this one it looks like it was just coming out of his nose his mouth i don't know what his problem was but he was not using that tongue like usual to clean up that usually his tongue cleans up the mucus but oh, not 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 right now you know his body this is also the part like of all the yummy goodness oh yeah yeah got rabies well, so I think it's a water yeah, conservation yeah. method. Also the part I think of it's the part of uh, uh, <laughs> also the part of the toxicity of the lol cows. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why are you guys talking about David Lynch? Oh, what? What? you guys are. Talking about? Uh, I'm looking at the chat. They're talking oh, okay. about like David Lynch and Dune. And oh, I see. They went. They went from Star Wars to to Dune. 
And then they uh, went, oh, okay, I see what you guys are doing. Okay, honestly, yeah. Honestly, Eraserhead was probably one of the best uh, movies I've ever seen by David Lynch. Like, that was uh, phenomenal. I don't care if, like, say, oh, well, it's his earlier work. Twin but Peaks. Was- Twin, Peaks. Twin Peaks. Definitely. Twin Peaks, man. Twin Peaks is S tier. I it? agree with you on that. Yeah, Twin Peaks. Tw- it was... Show. Well, it was Twin Peaks, and then you had the other um, movie. I don't think it was David. Was it David Lynch who did Jacob's Ladder? I don't think that was. I, I don't, don't think so. That wasn't I David Lynch. But po- point is, both Twin Peaks and um, Jacob's Ladder were the inspiration for Silent Hill. Mm-hmm. I will say, and for though, Deadly like, Premonition also. Oh wait, 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 wait! Hold up. Is oh, is um, er, so, uh. Is Twin Peaks the one where it has that one tall dude and the other little dude? Yes. And the tall dude says yes. One in the same. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. That oh. that is Twin Peaks. Yes. The Red Room. All of it. Yes. Oh, I gotta see that. Yes, Twin uh-huh. Peaks. Yes, it's a very very interesting show. I highly yeah. recommend it. And if you love Twin Peaks, oh you should check out uh, Deadly Premonition. I have oh, to watch sorry. it then. Deadly Premonition. I- sorry, I said it right. I can appreciate a movie that doesn't like one of those movies that like doesn't have a happy ending mm. and it's just like it just makes you feel uncomfortable after watching it. Like for example, like the end of Evangelion, that that made me so uncomfortable and sad and and just like like <laughs> it made me question so many things. Oh uh... You know what, though? I don't think poor Moth is with us. I don't think he watches a lot of anime, even though he's I, a VTuber. I, I don't know what any... What, what is this? Evangelion? What, what is this? Uh, yeah, he, he's, is he's it? watched it. Yeah, he's totally... He's just being quiet. He wants to act cool. No, no, he's, he's, really, he's a cl- never, never. Really? Say that, Say that again. Call uh, it that uh, one more time. I, I uh, dare you. Actually, I, I can tell you guys, he does have Evangelion. some redeemable qualities. I do know oh, for a fact really? Moth... I know, I know for a fact Moth likes Ruby, so there is that. Oh yeah, I, I him, watched... and, him and Bikera, they don't stop about... <laughs> he likes Rooster Teeth. Well, well yeah, you, let me tell you about this awesome show called Ruby, okay? It's really deep, it's really deep. Like, the, the, it's got like a double meaning, okay? So you got Ruby, you know, the first star of the show, and her letter is R, you know, Ruby. And then what is her color? It's also red, you see, it's a double meaning... It's a double. Meaning. You're being, you're being, you're being facetious. <laughs> I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to explain to, uh, I, to you, what <laughs> Bucky. The moth is a poser. Problem is, <laughs> I'm being facetious about it. The problem oh. is that he just, he just does it over and over again, and it's just like, <laughs> hey, we got it, we got the plot. Hey, moth, who's your, fa- who's your favorite character in Ruby? Oh, oh, Jean. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Me Every- Weiss. Weiss for me. You like Weiss? Yeah. The Nightingale by Jennifer Kent is excellent, really dark, and a bit traumatizing. Well, okay. You know, I think I remember seeing, like, um, a found footage horror movie once. Uh, I forgot what it was called. but it The was Blair Witch movie. Project? Huh? <laughs> No, the Blair no, Witch no, Project. No, no, oh. I'm talking obvious. about one. It was kind of like, um, one. This, oh god, what was it called? Uh, paran- uh paranormal. Paranormal activity. No, no, no. It, it was like a ripoff of paranormal activity. Oh, oh paranormal, paranormal, uh, paranormal investigations. Oh, no, okay. Wait, okay. Hold on. Are um, you talking about paranormal activity? Paranormal. Yeah, there was a there was a there was a movie called like Paradise Nuts. <laughs> like uh, yeah, what style? What what Moth said exactly? Um, but Moth, it was like, like, bro, you know, I'm gonna tell you something right now, and I don't know why I didn't bring this up earlier, but it literally looks like you are sitting on Cyrax's lap, bro. Maybe oh, I no. am. Maybe I am. Maybe oh, maybe maybe uh, you know, he's just sniffing my shoulder. Okay, he's just sniffing my <laughs> shoulder, and you know, if I have romantic interest in Cyrax, well, then you know, I have to compete against Music Biz Marty for that one. 
you would oh, have to, man. And I, no offense, but I'm pretty sure Marty would, would defend his boo. I'm pretty sure Marty would. You know, if Marty catches you sitting on his boo's lap, I think there's going to be some trouble, bro. It's, it's paranormal entity. Uh, that's, oh. That's what it's called. oh, so it's like the, the B-rated version. Gotcha. Um, I don't, I mean, I don't know. I honestly think it was just like someone riding off the coattails of paranormal activity for sure. That's what B-rated uh, films do. do it had a really like messed up scene. I can't, I, I, I would go into detail or like somewhat of a detail, but uh, I can't do that because YouTube has us by the throat. So yeah. It's oh, it's okay. that disturbing. Oh, it's that disturbing. Yeah. Just, because just take. To, let's just say the demon liked the girl in the movie a little too much and took action. Uh, I don't. I don't understand. It's okay, moth. You know, you're still young. When you when you get older, I'll I'll, t I'll tell your mom to to explain the birds and the bees to you. Okay. Oh my god. What's a uh, that's. There's a bee. There's a bee. There's a stork too. There's a there's a snake in my boot. There's God. there's uh uh there, there's oh, a boy. there's a goblin in my attic. Wait, what? All right, wait. Do you, do you live at Sally's house? No. Okay. <laughs> Stop giggling. Stop giggling. Okay, I can hear you. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that was me. That is me. Oh, <laughs> my dog step on a bee. Yeah, don't don't make Moth angry. He might like jump up and down on Cyrax's lap. Jessica wants to buy an eight dollar. Oh, purchase. that's so wrong. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Moth, no. Oh no. Oh my god. No. <laughs> That is not okay, bro. I am so tuned out. <laughs> I don't think I want to know what you guys are talking about. Oh, man. Oh, no, it's not what we were talking about. It's what, what, what Moth was doing to Cyrax. <laughs> I wasn't... I didn't know it would look like that. <laughs> All right. So, speaking of disgusting stuff, we are going to talk about disgusting mead. By Mr. King Cobra JFS. Oh, yummy. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to jump on my phone so you'll see another, um, you know, just invite me in, okay? Now for a sip of my mead to wash down my meal, yes, indeed. The mead was like that full in the jar, and then I added. Two cans of the Saddle Bronc Black Tooth beer that I used to make the broths. And then, like, two cans of Mango Orange Sun Kissed. And it topped the jar off, made it full again. Just to see what it tastes like and maybe increase the content of the kick to it. And I can still taste the spiciness of it. The habanero is like the domineering flavor, yes. What I do enjoy Hello. is on YouTube. It is delicious being able to make it and then try it. It's all processed and it's beautiful. You know, I added the perfect amount of habanero to it. For as spicy as it turned out. Yeah, that was enough peppers, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> enough yapping. Let's have a sip of this. New and improved habanero mango peach mead with mango orange sun kissed and black tooth saddle bronc. Cheers. Uh, so poison then, right? Yummy. I mm. I just I King Cobra King Cobra's like a stud. You know he's a stud. I, I, I believe it was uh, – uh, I think it was Chris Chan who said that he was like a lost treasure that, that was just waiting to be discovered and treated like a king. Well, I think the same thing about Cobra. 
Um, you know, I, I think King Cobra, I mean, look at him. What is there not to enjoy about his personality? I mean, the Ozzy Osbourne obsession is definitely peak masculinity. And then this rotting chair, mm, that's awesome, man. This is his throne, and this is his kingdom, and we're just living it. Uh, that hat is his crown, and he's just waiting to put that thing on and rule all of us. You know, he's going to tell all of us damn dirty trolls to uh, get back in line. You know, damn, damn dirty trolls. I can't wait. I can't wait. You know, I, I, I think I'm hopeful you know, in the whole Jessica Cobra relationship, I'm hopeful. And what I hope will happen will is, is that Josh will come to his senses and like kick her to the curb. But that is very unlikely to happen. I think it'll take several months for him to realize this because right now he's like in the honeymoon stage of the relationship where everything's perfect. And it's going to take a while for him to get out of it. Oh God! Uh, you for, you forgot to mention that Cobra is also incredibly sexy. He is a good-looking goth. I mean, I that, <laughs> you did. Oh, okay. Maybe I didn't hear that part. I'm sorry. Okay, continue. I, I apologize. No. <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh God! Like that. Why are they two Zazels? Yeah. Because right now, this Azazel is, or Chris, my, me, I'm outside smoking a cigarette, so I have this one on my phone, and then I have the other one on my computer. And that was my cat. Sleeping right there. Yeah, see, it's got a cigarette in its mouth. That's how you know I'm out here smoking. See? See? Yeah, yeah. We got a system, bro. We got a system. I don't buy it. <laughs> You know, I don't. I don't care what you buy. You know what? I'm gonna. You know what? Your mom. I, I got. Yeah, yeah. Your mom. Your mama. There we go. <laughs> I like how that's the default. Real creative. <laughs> Where'd you get that one from the mom store? You got it from my old. I got it from old. you. I got it from you, mom. Yeah, you got it from my like, fucking uh, dumpster <laughs> bin. All my thrown away jokes. You know, you know, you know what, you know what, Moth. You know, I, 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 I really think that you know, I'm really proud of you for for laying off the wine coolers. You know, it's been it's been a while. I know it's been a rough ride, but I just wanted to say I'm really proud of you for that, bro. That's that's that's, that's amazing. Proud of me for laying off your mom. Wait, wait, no, I'm I'm the one that's dating your mom, bro. Remember, she's the one that like steals your pop tarts on her way to come to my house for a good time. Remember, that's how it works. No. I will say though, you guys, I, when it comes to my mom, you really don't want anything to do with her. Trust me. Well, whenever it oh, comes to Ruby. <clears throat> oh yeah, Ruby. Yeah, yeah. When it comes to when it comes to Ruby, yeah, what? Uh, you, you see, the double meaning extends throughout the entire name, but I I would much rather you know I I know everybody wants to hear about Ruby, but I'd much rather. You give me something. Okay. Wait, what? I'm, I'm muted. Oh, sorry. My bad, my bad. Hold on. Yeah, I was like, what's going on? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What just I happened? Know. I don't know what happened. What? Flavor on my... Yeah. Holy shit. The flavor on that is very nice. No, I added the beef. Uh, mango sun kiss to try to like dumb down the heat a little bit and like neutralize the flavor so it's not just like a blast of pepper to the face which i don't mind and it did like it did do that it did like neutralize it like the pepper burn is like uh, sorry. like the last notes sipping on that they just don't like that. <laughs> when you said a blast of really pepper good. to the face i was like it's better than a blast of wendy's to the face circle this habanero mead is delicious and mixing it with the black tooth saddle block beef, cans of sun kiss and what have you not bad it's not bad you two on a cold snowy day this is actually really good one it keeps you warm and pepped up suppose that's enough yammering for this video did i really knock down my own phone off 
with this, that's all right. Oh, that didn't just happen. charging cable. There we go. It happens. Phone's still good. All right. We got a canteen of chicken quesadilla, canteen and chicken burrito, and a canteen of chicken crispy taco. I got two of each. So we're going to do a review of each one and have some uh, snackage for later. Start off with the burrito, the crispy tacos, and then the quesadilla. Got a bag of goodies. Let's go. The cantina chicken from Taco Bell is delicious. He is going to ruin that, right? I'm sure he is. For sure. For sure. Well, I did, if I heard him correctly, he did say he bought two of everything, so he'll at least ruin one. I don't know. Do you think he's going to food hack these or just eat them as is? Who knows? He's Something tells me one through the food hack and the other is just for him. Yeah. Oh, man. I don't want to see what he does to Taco Bell food. That's terrible. You shouldn't mess with that. I mean, I mean, I mean, I like Taco Bell. I like Taco yeah. Bell. Um, but I imagine King Cobra is going to put Jolly Ranchers in there. He's probably going to oh put, my like, God. like, he's going to put sweet stuff in there. He's going to Jolly Ranchers, some whipped cream. Canned um, salmon. Canned salmon. He likes to add that. Oh, yeah. Maybe some clam chowder. Wait, wasn't it the cockroach, tuck, uh, the cockroach burrito? It's not Taco Bell. Oh, the bog burrito? I think the bog burrito. It is Taco Bell. It yeah, is. the bog burrito was Taco Bell. Yeah, it was. You're right. You were absolutely correct. Oh, uh, dude. Uh, that's Yo, this is a war crime. This is a war crime. Everything yeah. about Kobe is a war crime, man. Everything the guy eats, everything he does is a war crime against humanity. Did they include the Look at that bald head right there. Hell yeah. yeah. Oi, yep. no two Do you see the spade? Going to help that. Are you guys seeing the spade right there? Holy crap, there's a spade. <laughs> Hey, at oh least at, at, at least he doesn't have scabs, all right? At least at least our cobra doesn't have scabs like somebody else. You know fair. What? That's fair. I guess I guess that's, you could yeah, say that's that's that cobra is an ace in the hole. Oh my god. I'm not sorry for that one. <laughs> yeah. Green cross this time. No, they did not. Fucking typical. No, oh, wait, never mind. I need a good laugh. This is hilarious. A couple packets here. You need to include the uh, oh, sauce. Is that? Oh, is that the green chili sauce? I think so. I don't. Dude, I'm sorry. I don't know if it's just the color of it, but I don't like that. <laughs> Why does that look like an animal? From here, that looks like an animal in his hands. Like some sort of like... like it looks like a fish to me. Know. It looks, oh, like it looks like a, it looks like a creature. Yeah, it looks like a creature of some sort. It better not be the autism creature. Frog. It's a frog. It is a frog. Oh my god. That. He's, he's no, gonna eat. Oh my god. Guys, it's a bog frog. It's a bog frog burrito. Yeah. <laughs> Akira, and, Akira and Angel have frogs. Don't say hungry. that. I'll have you know, frogs are cute. They, they, they're little, they're cute little lily pad hoppers. Well, now you're starting to sound like Jessica describing Josh. <laughs> take that back. Take it back. Yeah. Be a good boy and take it back. Josh could be described <laughs> as like. Joshy. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll figure out. I'll figure something out about you, and then it, I'll I'll use it to my advantage. I'll do it. Just just to piss oh. you off mildly. Oh wow! What, the, what just happened there? 
<laughs> oh my god, it's a ghost. It's a cowboy ghost. Did he just spit on his camera? Looks like it. <laughs> Sounded like it. Oh my gosh, he's such a, he's such a boglum. He's such a toddler. <laughs> I like Ozzy is tattooed on him. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, you guys know the story of that tattoo? It was haphazardly like tattooed on his fingers by one of his girlfriends. <laughs> you know, oh, I swear when he gets arrogant like this, sometimes I feel compelled to just like ha I, I want to see someone like specifically a woman like grab him by the by the wrists. Look at him in the eye with like disappointment and disdain, and be like, "No, you don't do that." <laughs> well, you guys, understand why he got kicked out? Because um, you know why he stays in his apartment most of the time. He doesn't go out to bars anymore and stuff, right? He, he'll he'll say that it was because of the trolls. The trolls would call the bars and get him kicked out. It's incorrect. He got kicked out because he'd get all weird and creepy to the girls that would sit at the bar at the bar stools, and you know they'd get close to him, and he'd be like, "How's it going, me lady?" And eventually, they would just oh keep complaining God. to the bartender about this creepy guy, and then eventually, he'd just get kicked out. But no, that's the reason why Josh isn't allowed at bars anymore. Are you kidding? Oh wow! Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm very serious. He should have gone with the Charlie Z tactic of screaming at women and their names. This honestly does not surprise me. Yeah, that would have worked. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Isn't that the Mel Gibson approach? Or oh you could just God. do, you could do the Chance Wilkins approach and just you know do the texting and you know you know and then your turn, cutie, that kind of stuff. Oh, God. Or he can he can probably Ooh. drop a girl's drink and say, uh, and ask them out for a dance. I've seen some. Uh, sorry, I don't remember, but yeah, I can do that. And look at what that's gonna go for him. Let's well, not Cobra only play with women. Yeah. Well, right. you guys know what Cobra does before he gets ready to pick up chicks, right? He he'll he he figure he'd go you know in the shower and clean himself up with that tactical soap of his. Oh no. He'll just go in the bathroom, you know, make sure his nail polish is put on. He's got his eyeshadow on. And then he'll take that same tactical soap and wipe it on his filthy clothes that he's been wearing for the past two weeks. And then he's ready. He's ready to go out for a date, man. He's ready to pick up chicks. That's the oh, Cobra no, way. No, I, I ain't going to be one of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how he does it, man. That's, that's how our Cobras gets ladies. Mmm, delicious. Oh, yeah. That sauce, that green sauce, I just, I just realized. It looks so much like Linda Blair's vomit. Yeah, and he's just like, Mmm, this tastes just like Jessica. Oh, yes. Oh, dude, stop. It's not customized. Oh, oh, those my teeth. God. Oh. oh, my God. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Okay. Stop it there. Stop it there. Well, let's let's add let's add the boglum to the to, to, to the list. So you have a choice of kissing either Cyrax, Daniel Larson, or the boglum. There you go. Hey, that's that's not that's not fair. Like, okay, first of all, first of all, King Cobra doesn't belong up there. Oh yeah, you, you guys. Uh, yeah, no, you're right. He's a lol cow. He's not a horror cow. I know where you're going with this, but go ahead. I'll, I'll shut up. I mean, I mean, the the main thing is that Daniel has scabies. Cyrax has bed bugs. King Cobra doesn't have anything. He has herpes. Actually, that that's a thing that he has. He has um, got herpes. Yeah, he's, he's got herpes though. Yeah, he'll give he'll give you a bum bump if he gives you a kiss, man. He he have a cockroach too. Forgot about that. Well, not to mention he's also had his mouth on Jessica, so there's that too. Well, yeah, that's how we got the herpes. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. Exactly. Oh man, that's so oh. gross. I'm sorry, that's so gross. Again, that falls in line with the Edgar suit theory I have. That's why he likes her so much. 
cockroach in a skin suit. <laughs> oh man, I just got like a really nasty horror movie vibe from that. Mmm, delicious. I'm hungry right now. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I don't care. Honestly, I can go for a drink. It's delicious. Mmm. Yum. Yeah. Enjoy well, that. Like, I, I know it's like I don't know why. I just I just want seltzer water. Like just, just look at those lips, man. He's just sucking up that burrito. Just oh god, it's so gross, man. He's like he's like like a lamprey with missing teeth. It's disgusting. Oh my god. That's so gross. He needs like I don't know how many trips to a dentist he needs, but he needs one hell of a dental plan. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I think they would just give up and do a full extraction and just do like implants. Because I mean, I, yeah, I think that would be the only hope for the Cobes, not gonna lie. Oh man, it makes me want to brush my teeth right now. Like I'm not even joking. That that is. I don't know. That's valid. I, you can you can ask these guys. Almost every time we're done with a a, a show a, a stream, in the middle of our Discord, I'll be like, I gotta put myself on mute, guys. I'm brushing my teeth because just after watching these guys, you, you can't. It, yeah, I, I get you, dude. I do. Yeah, the amount of therapy I need for this is is it's gonna it's gonna make every session so much longer than it needs to be. Don't God, it's like making love. <laughs> Get that out of my face. Get that out of my face. I don't need I don't want your dirty food. I don't want your bog of food. He wants you to take a bite, princess. Just take a I bite. I don't want it. <laughs> I have integrity to keep. You know, that's oh, really wow. insulting. That's really insulting. I would eat that. I, I like Taco Bell. Yeah. I mean, see, Mom, like Mom Bell, was here. Not from his hands. Not from his dirty hands. No, no. Moth, Moth, Moth and... Uh, now, Moth and Cobra would totally share a burrito together, man. He has no problem having an indirect kiss with the Boggs if he gets to eat delicious Taco Bell. If man, I could, like, to sit... Taco? Hell yeah. Sorry. No, ahead. was that Akira? <laughs> no, he said when it comes to taco and all that stuff, hell yeah, man. Why not? I think... I, 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 I think... I, I gotta agree with you on there, Akira. You know, there are certain foods that are so customizable that you have to like them. Like burgers. Burgers. What can you put on it? You don't even have to put meat on a burger. You can put, like, uh, you can make a veggie <laughs> burger. You, Cat, and, food. Like, Cat food. That's that's correct. Uh, cat food. Yeah, yeah, yeah Bogle did it, dude. He put cat food on a burger because his trolls bought him a burger that didn't have meat on it. So he thought he'd show those trolls, and he put cat food in the burger and ate the whole thing. What? Oh, I, I, I didn't see that. that. What video was that one? He enjoyed every uh, second of it too. Just, oh all you gotta do God, is, no. go right. Just all you gotta do is go to YouTube, type in King Cobra JFS, and then type in cat food. It'll be up there. You'll see it. Uh, but I don't want to see that. No, I'm thank good, you. But, yeah. The crispy taco version. Grab a sauce. We'll put it on there. He's still mm -hmm. in Taco Bell, right? I totally forgot. Oh, Oh yeah, that, like oh, he's comic. just sucking that. Like he's oh man, he's sucking that like a vampire would a blood bag. Oh god! Oh, you're right. <laughs> I'm sure he's sucking yeah, it I'm like something else sausage. though. Um, Jesus. Oh, princess, you filthy, filthy, filthy-minded person. I know. There's no cleaning this brain. That crunchy taco is swinging. The salsa verde avocado sauce that they chose for the cantina chicken. 
is the perfect combination, in my opinion. That's, oh, that's yeah. Phenomenal. I, I yeah. like how he tries to be like really complex with the food, like all these all these ingredients combine together and make the perfect combination. It's like Cobra, Cobra, your your taste buds are shot. Okay, your tongue is hanging by a thread due to all the acid reflux. Okay, don't act like you're complex with food. You're just like stuffing your face with whatever you can find. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. If Cobra, if Cobra found like I I don't fucking know. Um, uh, like, like, what, what's something? What's a household item? If he liked it to eat like plastic bottles, like Febreze spray bottles and stuff, I guarantee it. He would find a way to cook it and like melt it and then eat it. Um, yeah, he would take it and he would melt it in the microwave. He'd probably put some cheese on top of it, maybe uh, some some um, I don't know canned clams mixed in there with the melted plastic and yeah he would just you know gobble that down after it's been microwaved thoroughly cobra cobra would probably eat like i <laughs> i don't want to say what i'm thinking just uh, just continue yeah i'll bet you don't well we we already know what he's eaten already i mean wink wink how's the cheese pull cobra Taco Bell, I get like fire hot and uh, Diablo sauce because I really like the spiciness. But this uh, avocado green sauce is just spicy enough. I love the fact he's trying to be a professional critic with this. <laughs> Ew. Ain't no like uh, punk As it falls off, apart in his uh, hand. So spicy, it, it burns your mouth off. You know what I'm saying? It's got a nice heat level on it. Good flavor, good heat. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Can you eat like a person? He and can't. I don't mean a, don't no. mean a feral person. I, don't, I mean like a, oh my God. Look at those lips, dude. His mouth is so big. It's just built for him to pack that mouth full, as full, full of his mouth as possible. That's a good, that's a good pause right oh there, Akira. That was fun. Oh Christ God. on his stick. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. How? Oh, my God. Ah! Sorry. King Cobra and cannibalism would be an interesting combination. Oh, he'd be dangerous. No, he's got a huge mouth. He would actually be a terrifying cannibal. He would he he would bite and bite hard, dude. Yeah, no man, that'd be terrifying. He he loads up a stream and it's just like, what's up, you tombs? I came back from the local morgue and I got this new epic pork chop that I'm making. Um, it's it's in the microwave right now. Oh no! I think they're. Uh, I think. I think their name was. Uh, like he, he says the name of the person that he's eating. Oh, uh, or the pork chop belong to. He's like, I think his name was Frank. Anyway, I'm going to microwave this to perfection. Dance most definitely wants up tubes. <laughs> Mmm, delicious. He he would eat. Oh yes. That's gonna be in uh stock. <laughs> I'm sorry. And last but not least, we have the quesadilla. Cantina chicken taco, which comes with avocado and sour cream. Sour and cream. Sauce the avocado sauce. No, I think he's purposely game. mispronouncing those words. I think he's Maybe. doing it on purpose. It does not make him look more refined. No, he... No, Cobra is anything but refined. He is... No. Can you imagine him at, like, a five-star, like, like dining scene, you know, where you have to wear, like, you know, tuxedos and dresses and stuff? 
like imagine him at like you know a fine dinner table where they're having like fine dining with all the silverware and everything it just it doesn't compute. no no it wouldn't work there's no way i mean so that's how that goes i'm gonna take the avocado sauce that's fresh avocado from taco bell that's what's up and the sour cream now I'll squeeze a little bit of that sauce into the sauce cups. What? No! Leave the sauce alone! Oh my god, is that, is oh that sour god. cream? Yes, it is. Oh no, leave it alone, man! No, no, this is a taco. You gotta say it, sour cream. You gotta say it that way. The sour cream. The sour cream, no. Sour cream. That could have gone on some nice latkes on a Hanukkah's night and. Or you're gonna have, or you're gonna have to stay with a honk, uh, honk hill style, saying it's sour no. cream. No, no, no. Four hundred years of sour cream with Cobra. <laughs> Sorry, my God. Four hundred years with your mom. And FML. Four hundred years of uh, sour cream and uh, sauce of verde avocado sauce mix. Oh man. Mmm. Every bite, man. Every bite. I, oh I'm goodness. really, it's it's really bizarre with I the whole team situation. I don't like how he closes his eyes when he eats, dude. It's because he's taking in so much, like, delicious goodness, you know? That's what's up. But I, I think the most bizarre thing about Cobra is, like, no, like, he's not in, it doesn't appear like he's in any pain over his teeth, you know? I mean... I, I've heard theories that Cyrax is really angry because of like dental pain, tooth pain, and that's why he's really ticked off all the time, which may or may not be true, you know. But King Cobra looks like he should have tooth pain as well. Uh, and yet it doesn't seem to be evident. Yeah, no, I'm gonna be honest, man. Like I remember getting my tooth. Uh, my my wisdom teeth removed. It was the worst ex it was one of the worst experiences of my life. I look, I, I'm not like, look, if, if anyone's been through like other surgeries that involve like actual organs and stuff, like I, I'm not taking that away, but it's like to have like something that is like, that is connected to your nerves. It's so painful. It's so excruciating. I don't know how anyone can cope with that. It's like, the, it's like, you can't ignore it. It's right. Yes. Honestly, um, his camera quality does look very 90s ish. It it really does. No, I, I know where you're coming from, though, Taku. Yeah, tooth pain is never a joke, but I think it, unlike the, the satellite guy that, that Moth likes to talk about, um, who clearly is having tooth pain, I think for Cobra, I, I think he just, because you think about it, how does, how does Cobra start his day? Anybody? How, how, like, what, is, what does Cobra do the first thing he does when he wakes up in the morning? Does anybody know? I don't know. I don't know. He drinks. He drinks. No. The first thing he does when he wakes up in the morning is he pops open a beer and adds liquor to it and makes some stupid. He drinks. He drinks from, 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 from breakfast all the way to the night. He is drunk all the time. That's why he... I, I think it dolls a lot of his oh, tooth pain. That, that's my theory, anyway. Maybe. Oh no, but, dude, that guy, that guy needs help. That that's an that, that not going to help his liver. Definitely not going to help his liver. Oh, that's not no, that, dude. That's not yeah, going to help like, his liver at all. Yeah, like he'll do these morning streams. <laughs> Well, he'll do these streams first thing in the morning, you know, and he'll start with a cocktail and he'll do a cocktail review of some sort that he's making peanut butter cobras or something stupid like that. Lord, and yeah, he'll, he'll start, he'll start first thing in the morning. Yeah, he's an he, he's an alcoholic. That's I'm sorry, that's so messed up because it's like honestly, when I when it, okay, I don't drink 
very often but when i do it's like at a party with like you know among friends and stuff um and then it's like you know and if i have a drink i'm gonna have at least two at max because well even though i don't drive i still think that's a reasonable amount to have you know one for the taste and one for the buzz yeah but when you are to the point where uh cobra is it's gotten to the point where i'm pretty sure if cobra didn't get his daily alcohol intake i think he would get the shakes i really do oh my god that's horrifying <laughs> absolutely horrifying Mm hmm. A little forward action going. Hmm. Yes. Oh, yeah. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. I want yeah. to go talk to Mo now. I want I could, I could go for some. I could go for a cheesy Gordy to crunch right about now. I want to. I want to. I want to like a nice bubbly water. You know, on a fun fact, you want to know what I you want to know what I used to call seltzer water when I was a little little kid. I used to call it daddy water. Daddy water. What? <laughs> no, no, no! Hear me out. Hear okay. me out. As sus as that sounds, it's actually I used to call it. I I don't know why I called it that at first, but now that I'm older and I understand more. I think it's because my dad was, my dad still is a huge, like, he prefers, like, seltzer water over regular water. So back when I was a kid, you know, the, the water that he would drink that was seltzer water, I used to call it daddy water because it was technically my dad's water. Oh, I don't okay. know, man. Another thirty seconds. I think another thirty seconds of awkward silence will do it. Dude, I can't even. <laughs> oh man, I was a weird kid. I was a weird little brat. <laughs> hey, you know it, it can be that. Oh, I mean, yeah, it kind of has oh, that, yeah. that fizzy noise, yeah. It, it is fizzy and fun, don't get me wrong. You know, I like club soda, it's good. It's, you know, it's not bad, it has its purpose. My, when my dad drank occasionally, he would drink a glass of vodka straight with no seltzer. Dude, it sounds... We call it soda water. <laughs> So hot. Oh wait, what you call seltzer water soda water? Yeah, that's another different term for it. You can call it soda water, seltzer, you can call it a uh, club soda. Basically oh, it's just actually, carbonated club water. Soda, club soda is a I, I actually named it for my dad. It's a lot different than regular seltzer. Um I think uh club soda has like a, believe it or not, it has like some salt in it. You're, are you sure you're not con con getting it confused with tonic water? Am I? What the because heck is tonic, tonic water? water? Tonic water is different. Tonic water has a thing called quinine added to it. It's like this, um, I, it's, it, it's like this wood derivative and it has a certain flavor to it. Originally, tonic water was uh, given to soldiers in the wars because it was anti malaria because of the quinine that was added to it, but it became a popular uh, uh, beverage to be added to alcohol because it happens to have a really interesting flavor to it, hence gin and tonics, and what have you. But yeah, tonic water. I think you're getting tonic water confused for club soda. Uh, I don't know, man. My grandfather was a bartender. I feel like if my dad uh, happens to know this knowledge, then, you know, I don't know. I'm a daddy's girl. What can I say? That is fucking tasty. 
That quesadilla is really fucking good. Quesadilla. Quesadilla. Speak the like the a chicken person. Chicken the regular chicken oh my God. Bell, I'm here for it. See, that was my reaction earlier. <laughs> Yeah, man, I, I, I love quesadillas. Quesadillas are awesome, man. I love cheesy quesadillas. Oh my god, I dude, when I was a little kid, I knew how to pronounce it properly. How is it that? Okay, why am I, why am I, why am I talking? I guess I sound weird. Is getting the uh, cobra sticks and the pool Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Seal of approval. You know what? You know, you, you know what else got the cobra seal of approval? Mm. <laughs> Jessica. Oh, yeah. yes. Oh, man. Good one. I think I'm going to bounce. I'm getting okay. really tired. <laughs> yeah, that's great for you, man. You can get some sleep. The way, hey, thanks for hanging out with us, man. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. I'll... Bye bye. See you. Bye bye. 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 I'll talk to you later. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a chill dude. <laughs> Yeah, you, yep. you know, his mom tells me all the time how much of a good kid he is. They include avocado and sour cream with the uh, quesadillas. Sour never mind. And when you squeeze that <laughs> avocado salsa very I'll be right salsa, back, guys. little thing like I did there. Okay. Okay. It's good, dude. Cantina chicken is slapping. <laughs> the green sauce Good review. include with it. He's a millennial, Something isn't phenomenal. he? Phenomenal. Probably. The avocado salsa verde. Yeah, it's really that fucking good. What do you say? Well, well, I'm, ge I'm actually Gen Z, it, so... so... Trying it, I would yeah? It. <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> yeah, damn, kid. My fingers, my fingers are wiped off. DoorDash, you're not getting What are you doing that? Move customize it. Finger movement? Oh, no. no, I'm not complaining. He butchers the language like he butchers cooking and mead making. But it is fun to go oh my like god. Taco Bell like Taco I do not want to see his cooking skills. So thank you. All the meats and extra you cheese. really don't. And the hottest sauce. And a bit of it will definitely get rid of an appetite if you have one. I'm not complaining because Taco oh, Bell, that is delicious. Definitely not then. No idea if Taco Bell is going to keep their cantina chicken on their menu, but... I would uh, recommend it. I tried the quesadilla. The quesadilla oh. was fabulous. The burrito was stuffing and delicious as always. Trying to correct and it. And the crispiness of the crispy taco is actually really good. It's like a soft shell made love to and a. You know what's uh, ironic? Like hard people from Mexico, they but always get told like how to speak, or is like, oh, yeah, speak English. Like, like can't you, really can't, good. you can't do it. You Especially can't even. You can't sauce even sauce. get your L's you right. Smoke, in, you know, or, all of it's on. You know what I'm saying? Taking my head. It, yeah, yeah, it's pathetic. Tried, we, we have no right to be telling exactly people how to speak. In, you know, in their I got a little people. excited at first, mm. but then I didn't see it. I oh was my like, God, oh. some people do need a grammar. Like, I'm like, uh, lift up your food items. There you go. Mm. They included a couple packets. You know what to do, Cobra. I got nothing but nice. Well, I think it's referring to some of the third person. Bell. They're delicious and they're cheap. And for the motherfucker who can't eat Taco Bell without like blowing out a toilet, I feel sorry for you. I really do. <laughs> what? What? And I'm what? not that picky. I like Taco Bell, Taco John's. Dude, you you're know, not. Like don't act like you're popular stuff. enough or you're cool enough They're to be saying Mexican, like if you feel bad for the own, people working janitor stuff great. at Taco Bell. Not a whole hmm. lot left to say on this video. What you honestly think they're gonna be like? Oh, oh, Cobra, he he really heard me and. He really, he, he, he heard my heart and my soul. Thank you so much for understanding me and how hard it is to work at Taco Bell. Oh. Oh my. Oh my. Oh gee, golly gee willikers. Oh God, I can be such an asshole. I don't. I wasn't supposed to. I'm walking back to Kira, by the way.
I'm sorry. I what? wasn't supposed to use that. No, word. It's okay. You don't have to worry about it. Moth already dropped the F bomb a few times in here, so you're good. Oh, did he? Yeah, you're good. I, you're good. I, I wasn't, yeah. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. No, no, Moth, Moth, come off, like drop the F bomb multiple times. Don't worry about it. Okay, okay, I know. Worst just... thing, worst thing to worst, we're we're getting yellow anyway. It's fine. Yeah, it, it won't matter. Yep. <clears throat> Video fam, super fam. Awesome good bead mix. And uh, yeah, I'm mixing the soda pop and the bead. What was left of my mead? I gotta move anyways, so. Why not like put some of that liquid into a drink combo? Don't act like this is the last drink you know you're having at that house. And, uh, it actually turned out decent. It oh, that's right. The heat, but on the finish, it comes right back. And I'm like, you know what? That's doable. That is very much doable. It didn't really dump no, the heat. Most so start seeing stuff get packed up slowly before he moves. Mm -hmm. Is that that's a pina colada drink though? Is or mm -hmm. glass, mm -hmm. isn't it? I think so. Yeah, like... No, it's a martini glass. Oh, okay, martini? thank you. Okay. If you like pina coladas... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what you sing away again, Margarita. Sing a song without pay. Escape, escape, escape. <laughs> Well, that was an interesting video. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, so, what 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 did we learn from it, guys? What what did we learn from this video? Uh, that, that he visits our crime. Sorry, I that he's that gross one. and he can't pronounce quesadilla properly. That too. I mean, oh or sour cream. I thought I was bad when I, uh, and I, I thought I was bad when I pronounced words in Spanish. When I was a kid, uh, I used to like mispronounced words in Spanish. I remember when I was a kid, I when I wanted some fruit, I told my, my grandmother uh, how to say it. Uh, I wanted some fruit, but I didn't know how to say it in Spanish, and I said something else that wasn't fruit, and she laughed about it. I won't oh, say what dear. it is. Yeah, I said I wanted a... Um, I won't say the word, but I think I think all of you know what I'm about to say. Oh, oh is it, okay, okay, let me ask. Does it start with the letter P? Um, yes. <laughs> she laughed about it too. She she was not she wasn't angry, but she started I, laughing. I thought so. I thought so. Oh my god. Oh man, that's so <laughs> like, that's amazing. Uh, yeah, it was actually something I remember as a kid. But yeah, and I thought I was bad with words. Oh, dude, I you know, I I think I've I've said worse. You know, I think I remember once. Um, I think I remember like in the car. I was in the car with my mom, and I think we were just like leaving the neighborhood or something. And some kid in a skateboard cuts us off, and I, um, you know, like when like. Uh, you're like when you're driving you kind of have to like stop at like like an immediate stop mm -hmm. um well when that immediate it bleh, when that immediate stop happened i i said that er <laughs> oh 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 wait 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 actually um I, I, I know that's what's actually a lot worse than that. Um, one time my mom took me and my sibling trick-or-treating mm -hmm. and um, I, uh, so I, I knocked on this one door and this lady came out with, well, I don't know if they were cr uh, chocolates or like cookies or what, but either way, they were in the shape of a cross. Um, and so this lady asks me, a child with no bearing of any like concept of religion. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? And I said, yeah, that's what my mom says when she's angry. <laughs> oh my God. I made her so embarrassed that night. I, I'm so glad I did it. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. That was like the one time I want to go back in time and be like, that's a good lad. That's a good child. For once, 
You actually didn't screw up. Oh, God. Mm, 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 mm. So what's next on the docket, uh, Kira? Um, it's the continuation of Miss Jessica, and we're gonna oh, play right, it real right, quick. Right. Yeah, um, because we're all uh, running late here. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, well, we were. <laughs> yeah. That's partially yeah, um, my fault. I I uh, I take full responsibility for that. Don't worry one. about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna blame moth. I blame moth for everything. No, 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 no. Because it's like I was I was trying to set up my VTuber model and everything, and I'm still new to this whole thing. So yeah, you know like, what? You know what? I am gonna send you this background right here. So we are all in the forest. All of us. Oh yeah, exactly. All of us. Yeah, yeah. I think oh, I'm gonna send everybody gonna everybody a um um background like this. Hold on. Let me see. Because I, I found a, because I found a Goomba right here in the forest, and oh. I made him join in our panel. And apparently, he is lost because he's looking for uh, Bowser's castle and stuff like that. But hopefully, no, he find it, by the way. Yeah. Um, <laughs> are you going? Are you wait? Wait. Are you Bowser's Goomba or are you Bowsette's Goomba? Oh my God, Bowser's Goomba. Um, uh, what's if you don't mind me asking, do you at least have a good dental plan? I know, I know, he doesn't treat you well as like you know being one of his henchmen, but you know, honestly, it's like if you're gonna work for him as much as you do, I think you should at least have a good dental plan, especially when you have such. No, a good first job. of all, no, the Koopa Troopas, you know, they deserve a dental plan. Goombas, I mean, you can just jump on them and they're they're gone. I'm sorry, but a Goomba does not deserve a dental plan. Koopa oh, Troopers. That's not uh, fair. Okay. Goombas are people too. They're exactly. mushrooms. They're mutated hey. mushrooms. Are they? Wait, they are. Oh my god, they did you dirty in that movie in the 80s. Oh my god, they made you look like um yeah, like yeah. a reptilian monster. Like, oh, oh, oh wow. Right. Yeah, whoever, harmonica whoever, and everything. Whoever, whoever directed that clearly didn't do their research. Oh my god. It was a wife and husband team. It was a wife and husband team, and it was literally a crap show. In fact, it was so bad the two main actors, John Lucasamo and the other guy. They would show up to the studio drunk yeah, and drunk. their minds drunk. In fact, that's how the guy who played Mario, what was his name again? I forgot the actor. Bob Hoskins. Thank you, Bob Hoskins. So, Bob Hoskins. So, check this out. Listen, listen, listen. So, Bob Hoskins actually broke his arm in the making of the Mario Brothers movie because that scene where him and John Lucasamo were driving down that um, the plumber van that they had, and they were driving down Brooklyn, well, they were drunk when they were doing that, and apparently the, the uh, van door slammed on Bob Haskins' arm and broke it. Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, yeah I'm glad. Right. Yeah, I watched the whole documentary about it. It was, it was, it was a poop show the whole time. Oh my oh, yeah. God! I think uh, I think the the directors were locked out of the editing room at one point. That is that is no way to treat a legend. Come on, dude. Exactly. Oh, well, that part was, was the, the 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 van Sorry, scene was accidental. That was just like they were both drunk. So I mean, that was oh, kind yeah. of technically on them. But point is, uh, no, the only person who actually like took took the movie kind of seriously was Dennis Hoffman. Or, oh, yeah, definitely. That? Yeah, like, he, he, he did his role pretty pop mainly because, I guess, um, uh, he had a kid, or I guess at the time that was interested in Mario Brothers, so he, that was the whole reason he went into it. Mm -hmm. But uh, I guess he regretted his actions later on. Definitely. Do you remember the team song for it? Like, Super Mario Brothers? Oh, that's the cartoon. That's the oh, yeah. 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 yeah, that it, it goes like, I remember it too. Yeah, it goes like, take one step from side to side. Let's do the Mario all together now, right? It goes like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Dude, yep. they had. I remember they had. Uh, I think they had like live action sequences on. That oh yeah, show. definitely with the they actual had, actors. They, they ha yeah, they had the wrestler play Mario, and I'm just like, uh, dude, Lou Albano. Yeah, Lou. Yeah, Lu yeah. Oh wait, wait. Actually, he also did a uh, PSA as Mario, saying, you "Yeah, do, you do drugs, you die before you you go to hell before you die." Yeah, that. And I'm just like, damn. He said that. that. Cool. Yeah, he did. I remember that. Oh, good lord! Uh, he was also in the music video with um, what's her name? Um, oh, the eighties. Cindy Lauper. Yeah, he was yeah. in that one. Yeah. yeah, he was. He he was oh, in the music. Yeah, video. yeah, girls just want to have fun. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, he played her dad or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yep. right. He did. And I remember. That's right. Girls just wanna have fun, dude. That's like a that's practically a feminist uh, uh, <laughs> uh, anthem at this point. So speaking of oh. the creatures of uh, what you call this, um, Mario Brothers and stuff like that, you know, there's a horrible creatures in Mario. It's called Miss Jessica. So this oh. one. Is the one we're about to watch. It's the continuation of the video we left from like last two days ago. So sit back, relax, and eat your popcorn and enjoy the show. How's that? Does that sound good? Come on, man. Come on, give me a credit. Absolutely. Uh, did I say it, right? That was pretty good. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> oh, awesome. Awesome. Akira. Yeah, I can't up? have popcorn. <laughs> oh, I don't have any. I can't even eat That's, popcorn. Uh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yes, I can. I just don't I, have I, any. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if Goomba is allowed to eat popcorn. I'm not sure, but is Goomba allowed to eat popcorn? I don't know. Uh, okay. I think Goombas are only allowed to eat plumbers. Last I checked. Oh, dude. Well. I guess he's just gonna have to miss out on some yummy. Aww. Oh, you know what, bro? You 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 are out of luck. Last I checked, I think in one of Moth's previous uh, job descriptions, he used to uh, work on like you know, drains or something. I think that qualifies him as a plumber. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one, Goomba. Good thing I found you in the forest. <laughs> okay, let's ah. watch this one. Ah. <laughs> Jump scare. Sorry. <laughs> Do you hear that humming too? Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. He just has, yeah, fucking smelling his ass about those people. God damn. Yeah. Oh, we're off to a great start. I can hear your voice. Oh, no. Just, just keep pressing play. Just, just let her, just let her ramble. Oh, hold on. Before you do that, do you know how I got these scars? Sorry. <laughs> From her? I was about to say right there. She scarred all of us. Jessica did not hit me. <laughs> Sorry. Mm, Josh is, oh God, he's a beautiful specimen. Mm. And look, more scars. Holy fuck. And I don't give a fuck if y'all don't see what I see. That I don't give a fuck. Uh, oh, Joshy. Oh, fuck. Holy crap. I would have been drooling all over Josh six years ago. God damn fuck. Yes, the fuck I would have been. For so sharing. I could have been Josh's girlfriend for, if I would have known him six years ago. Yeah, I could probably be his girlfriend for like, and that sounds psychotic to say because I've only been his girlfriend for a little over a month now. Oh, oh, sounds psychotic to say. Holy crap. There oh, you not, go. To mention, not to mention six years ago, she was too busy, busy peddling Xanax and Adderall to be able to spend time with Cobra of all people, of anybody, oh. you know. Oh yeah, she was with Cobra. Yeah. 
Yeah. Mm. <laughs> but I'm just saying, if, because he's a beautiful, mm, hello. Anyways. Define I beautiful. I y'all with. Define <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. You're beautiful. Hold on. You're beautiful. Can I play this? Give me a second here. Welcome. Welcome. Oh, welcome. No, no, no. welcome. 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 Warning. Welcome. Warning. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Okay. Yes. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Keep that in mind. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Oh, and Princess Otaku. Welcome, welcome back, by the way. Welcome I'm trying back. to, I'm trying to, like, see if I can put on a, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to put in a uh, background in my, in my thing. Oh, okay. Uh, let me see. Well, can't really teach you right now how to do that right now. Let me see. That's okay. I'll figure it out. All right. I'm not saying that she's a slut, but she had more balls in her mouth than the hungry people. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Abby, Abby, that was awesome. That, 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 that great. Right burn. Burn. Great. Burn. That was a sick burn. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> Sorry. What I think about Josh, but goddamn, I could have been his girlfriend six years ago if I fucking knew his ass. Mm, yeah, the fuck I would have been. Take a shot every time she, he says I'll be his girlfriend. Take a shot uh, about that. <laughs> she, said, she looks like she's saying that a lot. Sorry. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I fuck Josh in. I fuck Josh now. I'll fuck his brains out. Uh, I don't want that image um, in my head. Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness, Goomba, you're gonna get lost for this one. Imagining this all the time. I'm trying to help you out to uh, help you out on way to, you know, um, Bowser's Castle and stuff like that. But this one is going to make you lost more and more. So I'm already lost. Well. Yeah. Yeah. She looks like a dement she looks like a demented version of Yoshi right now. <laughs> yes. Yes. So I might adopt you, Goomba. You might want to stay in my house for a little while. Until oh, this I don't know about that, bro. They're vampires, man. If you've got, they, they'll go, they'll go after your very rare mushroom blood. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Be just be careful. Just be careful, okay? <laughs> Kevin, how who unblocked your stupid ass? Or did you make another account? I hope my mods are watching because I fucking hate your ass. I hope you have five million Kevin Wong accounts because you're a literal. Oh man! Ill yeah, a bitch. He's angry. He's angry. And you should kiss yourself. You should kiss Fred, yourself. Interesting. Fuck off. Interesting insult. Do you, do you want to get banned from my channel? <laughs> do you want to get banned from my channel? Do, do you want to get banned? Or do you just want to get punched in the face? Oh my with god, that fun in the comment. What, what do you want? Come on. <laughs> so I got distracted by that one comment there. <laughs> okay, I'll kick you with a fucking steel fucking toe boot right to your fucking nose, teeth, eyeballs, cheek sockets, asshole socket. God damn, he's naming the whole human what, body. What do you want? <laughs> yeah, yo, you know what's interesting, Goomba? Like uh, she have she have a wings. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah but you know, I'm going to say something. I, I don't think the um, gluteus maximus, and especially the, the anus itself, I don't believe there's a socket that's involved. So I have to call, um, I don't think that her, her, her body anatomy is absolutely accurate. <laughs> What do you want right now? Oh, Gordon. Gordon, did you email me? Yes or no? Yeah, if birthday cake tasted like Wendy's. <laughs> With cat food. You did? Okay. All right. I'll look for it. I will look for it because if Josh literally was talking and then he stopped, I mean, I don't know why. I can't answer for him, but you know, it's sad. And I fucking hate that people still think I'm bad for Josh. Okay. Well then, so in his six years of being single, which one of you dick suckers brought him a fucking whore with a cunt and a pussy to fuck? Wait, what? That makes sense to you. What? Um, uh, not really. She, she's basically objectifying what a female is, first of all, and then second of all, um, <clears throat> claiming that the Josh's alleged uh, uh, friends or fans weren't able to acquire him a person of what she is describing as a female. Oh, wait. None of you did. Oh, so for you to put your projections onto me while you have a bitch of your own, do, do you want me to judge your relationship? No? Oh, okay. So either be happy for Josh Suck your own dick and choke on it. Literally, please. Thank you. Try to suck your own dick. Take all of your ribs out if you need to. Not just one or two. Take all of them out. Try to suck your own dick and shut the fuck up. Show me where the fuck I've ever treated Josh wrong. Please. I'll wait. Because you dick suck what, the since fucks the dick. second day you got together? I was going to say, there's a laundry list of what you've done bad to Josh. So don't get us started, Jessica. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. You can't prove shit. I've done nothing to Josh but love on him. And if you fucking whores thought that you could get a goddamn fucking whore better, where were you dick suckers in six fucking years? You never presented no sluts to him. You never presented a bitch to him with her pussy spread, fucking clit hard. None of that. I'll wait. I'll wait. So all your projections and all that, I'll fucking wait. I never said Jess had ugly feet. I said you look like you could swoop down from the sky and snatch your dinner from a lake. <laughs> oh my god. She told and I don't have no comment on what she said, by the way. Not, you know, <laughs> Jessica said. I'm not going to repeat that, but whatever. Oh yeah, what she said was definitely as vulgar as one could get when describing a female's uh, genitalia. So yeah, great, great job, Jessica. We're we're real proud of you. That's uh, that's 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 upstanding behavior right there. What do you expect from Valak? You know, <laughs> Valak. fair. <laughs> True, man. True. I mean, she's she just needs to put the garb on. She just needs to put that like nun garb on. I mean, she's already got the the, the face. I mean, she doesn't really got to do much else with that. She's got to put the nun garb on, and she's ready to go. She can go do some haunting stuff. Hasn't happened. So let Josh decide if he doesn't like me. You aren't shit. So if you want to talk on his relationship, I'll start to talk on yours. Show me your bitch so I can start talking shit on her fucking ass. Ew, why is she sucking your fucking loser ass fucking little pina colada dick? Come on. Come on. Why is your wife married to you with the dick this fucking small? 
Don't tell me to calm down. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it, Abby. It's not worth touching the poop. <laughs> All she has is childish insults. Talk about Jessica, by the way. Yeah, yeah. It's all childish at the same time. And at the same time, it's like inappropriate way. I don't know. It's just weird. And it's it's doesn't make any sense at all. Nothing makes sense of it. Not going to. You tell me to calm down, you're going to be banned. I'm just asking questions. You guys can talk to me like this. I'm going to talk to you like this. You got a significant other. I'm going to talk to you the way you talk to me. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Yeah, I'm going to go see Josh for his birthday. Yes, the fuck I am. The 26th? So, okay, I'll be there before the 26th. Am I going to tell you when? No. But before the 26th? You mean the birthday that you ruin and give him a big birthday present? That yeah, was nice in... RV eviction? Mm-hmm. That one. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, she, she, she does a great job, man. She She's so good for Josh. That's for goddamn sure. And that's all you need to know. Thank you. <laughs> Did any of you fucking dick suck and fucking like, oh yeah, Cobra's my man. Did any of you fucking dick whores bring him pussy? Did you give him clit to lick? Did you give him pussy to fuck? Did you give him a girlfriend? No, the fuck he I know, Jeff, so with all the things you could have named that you gave him, you didn't mention the herps. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Fuck up. Keep your projections to your fucking self. If Josh wants to break up with me, he will. And then ain't your fucking say so. Thanks. Good. They bought him sex dolls. Oh, is that all they want for him? Is a sex doll? Well, I'm a real human being and Josh can fuck me any goddamn fucking time. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Oh, uh, he chose not to. Oh, I wonder why. You see that Goomba? Do you think do you think she's allowed to your forest? Do Not you think really. really... <laughs> I would want to meet her. <laughs> oh yeah. What, what what is what what's the Goomba tribes gonna do about it? Like if they see her. Run away. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> Run away. You can't do much else. <laughs> Yep, you that's right. You heard it from the Goomba. There you go. You hear that, Chris? <laughs> well, I mean, it's a sensible thing to run from her. <clears throat> I mean, I, I don't really think anybody with, you know, half a brain would attempt to approach Jessica in any fashion. Um so well, wait, what's what's that be saying? She used to be popular until her therapist took all of her imaginary friends away. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I see what you did there. Uh, yeah. I don't even uh, think she has any imaginary friends. Well, Abby does bring a valid point, though. Jessica doesn't actually have any friends. Uh, I forgot what channel was talking about it, but, like, even her parents don't really like her, go figure. Uh, so, like, her only social interaction at all is on the internet, and it's been like this for years now. So, Go figure, right? So essentially, if you think about it, Cobra is really her only like actual friend. So we'll let 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 that stew for 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 a moment. <laughs> oh, Kurt, oh, Auntie Jessie, you don't know what I got in store for you, baby doll. I'll make you more disabled than you already are. Trust and believe. Oh, oh, by the way, welcome oh, wow. back. Wow, welcome back. I by come, the way, I come back. To that? Oh my God! What a what 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 a person! What a person! Yes, yes, exactly. Hold on. Um, I will welcome you. Give me a second here. Um, I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> I will welcome you to the forest. I will bring you to the forest, Princess uh, Princess Otaku, and I will send you this one so you can use it as a background. Let me see. Let me find it for you. Give me a second here, and um, let's play this video while we were so, while, while. I'm so comfortable in my room. 
you have to be out of the porous with uh with the goomba because the goomba is alone wanna... he's a lost goomba I'm, yeah. I'm watching anime and i'm eating pocky i'm so comfortable with my anime figures around me oh <laughs> he's gonna let the goomba alone i am uh, he's got friends <laughs> he's got you guys I can't find it anyways. What the heck? It was gone. I have it. I can send it to her. Okay. You can send it to her. All right. Let's play the video. <sighs> Trust and believe with that one. Maybe though. I ain't worried about that fucking chicken head hoe scratching ass bitch. You are such a peach, aren't you? <laughs> and she likes to say baby doll a lot. Is that the only thing she says? Oh, yeah. God. Okay. That's okay. the only nice thing she Level says. With Level with me here, guys. Does she kind of remind you of like one of those really like abusive moms that only have you? They, they don't really love you or care about you, but they only have you around just so they can go on their drunken rants and don't and not feel crazy for doing so. <laughs> and you're still Abby. a child. Abby Paulin said, scientists have crossed a wiener dog with a pit bull. It's called a wiener pit, just like Jessica's mouth. Got him! <laughs> oh, my God. That's a good one. Got him! <laughs> Got him. Definitely. Oh, boy. Um, by the way, I sent you the I sent you the background, by the way. Oh, you did? What? Yeah. Oh, um... The Discord. Oh, okay. All right, uh, let me. This is gonna be a process. Hold up. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I don't want to go outside. I'm too comfortable. How dare you make me go outside? <laughs> it's the Goomba. The Goomba is so alone, so he you wants know, to be. You know, Akira, you can't blame the Goomba for everything. You know, one of these days, you gotta take accountability. Be an adult. You know. yeah, oh, yeah, you gotta take, you have to, you have to take accountability, bro. Do, do, do you think do you think Jessica would do that? Oh, absolutely Hell no. Of course not. She can't take responsibility for diddly. Uh, I don't want to be taken care of by Jessica. No, thank you. No, thank you. She's beyond help. No, no, Goomba. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You stay sure. in the forest. <laughs> she, she's like the chicken in the Cinderella trying to pluck the little fucking corn nibbles. And she, what? And she can't even get enough. She honestly reminds me of the mom from Matilda. That's the kind oh, of vibe right. I'm You're right. She does. Especially with that the uh, absolutely that is fearless, absolutely negligent and abusive. Just <laughs> there's there's no there's not there's no, no loving nurturing soul in that husk there's no soul in that husk exactly 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 i love that man exactly exactly exactly, <laughs> exactly. what have i started exactly Exactly. 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 Sorry. I swear exactly. you might think we're all taking shots every time Jessica curses because we're all drunk. Oh, yeah. You're right. Jessica, put a shirt on, please. Please put a shirt on. Jessica, please put a shirt on. Unfortunately, she does three. not know what that is. I, I type oh, yeah. S to the, chat, uh, to the chat to make uh, poor Jessica to put her shirt on. Here, let me let me try to shout it out for her. Here it goes. Jessica, <laughs> put your shirt on. Put it on. Put, put a boulder holder on for the sake on. of all of our eyes. Put the shirt on. <laughs> please put it on for, for everybody. For the sake of everyone's mental health, please put the shirt please on. Do it. Please do Stop it. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> exactly. Stop Just don't it. do it. Get some help. Sorry. Oh exactly. <laughs> oh, she's gone. <laughs> oh no. Scared oh, her no. away again. again. 
fuck? Yeah, we did. Oh, pronounce it to the world. Give me a megaphone, speakerphone, microphone, telescope. I don't give a fuck. I will broadcast. Okay, I guess you can think of anything else. To whoever needs to hear it. Drink that buzz bomb, Jessica. What was he drinking? Alcohol? Oh, right. Yeah, it's yeah. called a buzz bomb. It's like basically gas station alcohol. Oh. If we make birthday porn, it's going to be straight for him to keep. And if he wants to share it, that'll be up to him. Joshy already has his own little collection of what he needs. And, and well, if he wants to make more, that's fine. I don't care. Um, as long as it's for him. And him oh, and welcome back, by the way. Yeah. Oh, what is going on? No, the stuff for him is the stuff for him. You don't know. You got bad connection. The background? No, no. I, I, oh, there we go. And if he wants there to share something, that'll be up to him. Wait, hold up. It shows up. There, there. Okay. The great googly man. <laughs> Welcome okay, to the Josh forest. Uh, well, now I was, on the plus side is I figured Josh, out how to do uh, this I, I, without, without having to constantly life. leave stream. I apologize, everyone. It's okay. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. No excuses. You're also a, you're also a ghost in the forest, though. <laughs> yeah. That works, actually. I don't know yeah, how to make right. myself more opaque. On this you look awesome terrifying. Video. And if he wants to make little videos, so yeah, videos he keeps them between us. And then if we want to make a video off of something. Yo, you know what's fit? No, okay, see so that. I, Thank you. I, I'm a vampire. There's a Goomba. And then there's a ghost in the forest. There you go. <laughs> hey, if, oh, it you're right. you, if it makes you feel any better, I've always been. I, I, oh, <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Uh, uh, put that back, Chris. Put that back, Chris. What? So we have a ghost, we have a vampire, and then we have this. Ah! Cool. <laughs> Yuck. I love you, Joshy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Abby, I love what you just said. Abby, that's hilarious, and it's true. I feel the same it's, way, by the way. It's totally true. Like, they continue to stretch longer and longer and longer. There's literally a song for those. Yeah, I like, I can see it. Josh being like, I thought I got with you because of your long legs. And, what was it? Your, your, your long legs and your, oh, your long legs and your big chest. Now you have a long chest and big legs. <laughs> oh, good. Oh. oh. <laughs> no, no, like there's literally a song. It's like, do your boobs hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you, can you hold them over your oh, shoulder? Like on an end of shoulder? Do your boobs hang low? Oh, I've heard that <laughs> song. I know what you're talking about. I don't think I, I really would hope that we didn't get in trouble for singing something like that, considering Hallmark makes like cards. It's too late. Like I said, Moth already screamed the F bomb multiple times, so I think no, pretty other than much that, nah. other than that, um you were just singing it and other than that, there's there's no background sound for it at yeah. the same time because if or, it if it does have a background oh, sound of it, we oh, are 45. definitely gonna get in trouble for it. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Yeah, if you're singing it, it's 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 okay. It's not it's not it's not a big deal. <laughs> well, good. At least at least the corporate overlords are not heartless enough to keep me from singing my truth. <laughs> Yes. Ah, Goomba, is this is this allowed in a forest in the Goomba forest? Mm -hmm. There's this one right here. This this person right here, right here. No, no. <laughs> Stay away from me. <laughs> she probably Keep her away from me. She she probably like yeah. She would scream at Goombas. She would tell them to get out of her way because they're blocking the aisle. And then she would call them like really inappropriate words that I cannot use on this YouTube live stream. Mm -hmm. But that's what would happen. 
She probably step on us though. Cases, but everything else is between us. No, I know. If he wants to share it, it's up to us. But the stuff that is for us is for us. That's what I'm saying. The stuff that is for us is for us. If he wants to put something publicly, and obviously, yeah, we got it. Yeah, yeah, I think we got it. First. I'm not going to, okay, I'm going to do it. Whether you like it no. If he says okay, then I'll do it. But if not, then I'm not going to. But what he has for himself is what he needs. And I'll give Josh whatever the fuck he needs because I fucking love him. No, you won't. But what I'm Don't saying is whatever. Act like you, you would know what to could do. Be, if he says okay to You know what she can't give him that he needs? Financial help, a loving relationship, and an understanding spouse. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Mm. Then, then, uh, then also say okay. And if not, then I won't. And, and that's up to him. Because I do fucking respect Josh. And okay, yeah, a few things I did you... without his permission there, but he got over it very quickly and appreciated the stuff I did for him. And and everything you else, don't respect I'm yourself, not, so how can you respect Josh? Yeah, exactly. It was the, yeah. That's why I said, "Do you though?" Yeah. Huh. Mm. Asked his permission, so because I do love him and I do respect him, and at the end of the day, that's his place. And not you don't place. have a loving bone in your body. Don't at me. Like, yeah. Thanks. Well. <laughs> Where's Josh? <laughs> I mean, like, oh. please never do that again. Yeah, thank you. Thank Ew. You. Oh, God. No, when weed has helped me in so many, like, people are like, oh, we need weed for it. Oh, he is funny. No, please don't do that. It can help you with your mental, your stomach, your poop, your like, whatever the fuck. Like, can we not? Can we not hear about fecal matter for tonight, please? Especially from her. I have to look at it every night. I, I don't think I should have to hear about it all in one go. I was about to say we're already looking at it. Exactly. <laughs> oh, she's disabled. She's so disabled. She wishes she could crush me. <laughs> What the oh, fuck? Shut up. Sorry. No. <laughs> That's a yo. Jump that is scared. a dumb scare. Yeah. She, she oh, is such a shoot. human woman. Like, dude, just because someone is disabled doesn't mean you know they're less than you as a person. Like, exactly. Like, has it ever occurred to you that technically, just technically, you are mentally disabled as well? Because you know, you're, you're clearly dealing with some form of mental illness. So maybe Shelly Duvall, dude, oh, she yeah. look, she looks like kind of like Shelly Duvall a little bit. Like uh -oh. yeah, I like Shelly Duvall though. Oh, I do oh, too, <laughs> but she's got she has her ears and stuff. That is that's um, the no, face that's you see Shelley before Duvall. it comes that through the no screen. Exactly, Abby. After you. Exactly. That is so. That is so gross. Uh -uh. I mean, don't get me wrong. No, I love Shelley Duvall. She was awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is a goblin queen. If I ever saw one, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, she really is looking like Pazuzu from The Exorcist, though. No kind of lie. Or a generic witch. <laughs> Pretty much. Yep. Or Babadook. That too. Oh God. Oh yeah. no, not Baba just a generic. That, let's go from folklore. She looks like the Baba Yaga. Oh, oh, you mean like from no. Russian folklore? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Yo, yo, Goomba. Yo, Goomba. <laughs> Go also, guys, I just came to the realization I'm not a ghost. This is just how society views me every day. Aww. Aww. <laughs> let, 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 let me let me uh clean that real quick. I love mm -hmm. dark there you go. You see what you've see done what to me, done. society. Oh, I hope you're happy. You, you made me invisible. <laughs> you want an invisible girl. Now you got one. You proud of yourself? You you felt like you uh 
you're worthy of a pat on the back this time. I don't know what to tell you. You're not. <laughs> you suck. God, she's so mean. You. Everyone talks. You're you're literally that one person everyone talks smack about. Don't don't act like you're so you. You may have made what people are today, but you're also breaking what people are today. Goomba. Goomba. Yes. Go, 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 Goomba. Yes, what's up? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can you hear me? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he wishes she could crush me in oil. <laughs> I don't want to piss on her face good. and turn her fucking skin into acid. Face what is, oh, Wait, what turn her skin into acid? What? Wait, what? What is wrong with her? I didn't hear what she said. What she said? About acid? I think she said turn her skin into acid. I'm not joking. I'm pretty sure she, she said that. Why would you? Oh my god. No, no. She, she No, it's what she said after that that got me upset. Oh my god. I didn't hear what she said after that. What'd she say? Oh, you, did, oh boy. <laughs> did, did she escape from Lord of the Rings? Quick, someone call Gandalf. <laughs> Yeah, no, oh like some, some, uh, yeah, someone call Gandalf and get her get get his drunken mother off the camera. Oh man. Uh Woo. Okay. Oh my god, sorry. Call her acid face. Oh, <laughs> like this fucking like ass watch, like skin paste pants, man. You, you okay, know, okay, okay lady, lady, you are literally relying on a facial mask to make you less unappealing. To uh, as she drinks gas station juice, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so don't act like don't act like you're like what you're saying is any like has any merit at all like you you really need to stop like talking smack on a disabled person while doing this looking like this does, does it really make you look better does it make you feel better because um if, if you ever sober up which i'm sure will take a very very long time mm -hmm. um you're, you're you're gonna you're not gonna like what you you're not gonna like so long, it'll really never bad. happen. Yeah, you're right. This is coming from a VTuber. A new VTuber, but oh. hey, what, what do I know? <laughs> you're doing great, uh, actually. Thank you. You thank were you awesome. Much. You're well, welcome. You're welcome. Girl, scum demon gorgon horror. Like, yeah. I'm fucking skin Wait, her and like, yeah. Yeah. You can't even insult anybody good. Yeah, what is she gonna oh, do? God. Oh, she, with her I am getting PTSD just by looking at her. She reminds me way too much of my mom. <laughs> what is she In so many ways, too. Weed, I don't care what you say about weed. Weed is a. Mm. You don't want to hear you sing, you, by the way. You claim you don't care what people say, and yet here you are, like, again. Oh, you're right. Like, you are literally again. You are literally talking and uh, talking down and putting down a disabled person. I don't. I may not know this person. I may not know the disability that they have. But dude, like, if this is don't don't let don't don't let don't let ugly and stupid you know, get to you, man. Like that's that's what they want. They, they they're like parasites. They thrive off of that. You just know that you're way better than this. That just because you can't do one thing doesn't mean you can't do another thing. I know that sounds cheesy, but think of it this way. You're probably living a better life than this this is. This yeah. Oh God, I am mean. I am mean. I am mean today. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, Jessica doesn't help that. Doesn't help. Oh God. 
Look at that. That's disgusting. What is that? What is that? What is that? Is what is that? that? What? Is what? That? Um, Frank, I think that says thank body. I can't, I'm trying to read that. I, I I think some of it says body right there. I can't read Frank the first body. Thing. Oh, so okay. Some kind shampoo, maybe. I don't know. It's some kind of um. Wait, maybe it's a maybe it's a smoothie thing. Perhaps? I think it's body wash. This is the bathroom, isn't it? Oh, I, oh, it? yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But look at that. Look how nasty that is. What is that? What oh, you, oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I know what that is. That's probably she rust. She a probably lot of it out of her mouth. I think I know what oh. that is. I think that's rust from her, from whatever metal oh, is. Oh, you guys, it's from her dyeing her hair. Oh, oh. oh, that's even worse. Think, well, think about it. There's no way. She, she dyes her hair all the time. She's... Yeah, she's definitely got gray hair going on, so that's probably like remnants of hair dye. That also Maybe. reminds me, I remember, like, again, this is something my mom did, and I don't know <laughs> if this is a normal thing that parents do, but um, I don't know. Have your mm. parents ever, like, uh, constantly picked at your hair and said, mentioned how no. you have a gray hair coming in? No. No, just me? Oh, God. Oh wow! Well, I like, I, I like uh, how Goomba answered that. <laughs> no. no. Oh man, dude, dude. <laughs> oh, blame it, all, that blame it all to this Goomba right here. There oh, you go. sorry about that. No, no, it's okay. Hey, you just hey, look at look at it this way. You enlightened me. You enlightened me on the truth. If that's not what a normal parent does, then that then I think you just enlightened me on something. And I appreciate he was, that. He was just standing right there in a beautiful forest. One it's day. normal, princess. Oh, it is? He's up to no good. Goombas are always up to no good. For hey. drinking families, it's normal. Oh, okay. Okay, my bad. <laughs> my God. Is she taking a shower? I feel like we're not supposed to be listening to. This. Ew! What? She's the eat. She's eating a sandwich in the bathtub. That's Could her. Could I not wait till you were done? Nope. She's gonna wear her mask. She's gonna sit in the bathtub like she likes well, to, and she's gonna eat her sandwich. Correct me if I'm wrong. You're not supposed to eat and shower, right? I mean, well, that's not normal. But we're talking about Jessica. So, oh, right. Yo, right, right. Yeah. Like, her, her, that mask is making her look like Maleficent, and I don't mean in a good oh. way. No, well, don't say that. Maleficent's hot. We That's were right. over an that, hour that, into that this was... video, and you're only supposed to wear those masks for at least 30 to 40 minutes. Oh. How long was she wearing that? Oh, wait, wait. Over an hour. Oh, oh no. Oh, yeah, look God. at the time. Look at the timestamp right there. Oh, yeah, dear. Yeah. Uh, okay, and I'm guessing uh, she had that, she put that on in the beginning of the video. I believe yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. think I saw the beginning, so I don't know. Yeah, she put it on at the beginning. She, oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, thank that's, you. That's not like, cool. whatever. Between Josh is very good on his own. Ugh. I wonder what kind of sandwich yeah. it is. She's, she's actually looking a little know. More, bit more like the Wicked Witch of the West. Oh, you're right. I can't wait to see my Josh here. Do you people really want to know when I'm going to see Josh? You're a little dog, too. <laughs> I just wish he'd put a shirt on, man. I really there. do. I'm just Raise a camera so we don't have to see that part. I just don't want to see that anymore. I, I'm going to... I, I don't... Uh, ew. I'm just waiting for her to scare like the Muppets on Sesame Street right now. Oh, that! I, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She <laughs> takes half a sandwich and shoves it, like folds it in half, and shoves the whole thing in her mouth. Oh yeah, dude, God. she eats like, like Boglum does. Dude, like it's not going anywhere. Just like take your time, chew your food. You don't want to choke. Oh, wait, wait. You 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 actually have experience in choking on things, so never mind. You're good. Um, no comment. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, uh, ew. Yep, yep, ew, ew. Um, all right, well, um, and there you have it. Um, we're gonna continue the rest of it tomorrow. Um, because the video is so long, we're just gonna cut oh, it off and cut it off, and then we're gonna keep on updating. Uh, we're gonna keep on looking for an updates for uh, Miss Queen Cobra and uh, Josh. Um, saga, what do you guys think? All right, hmm? all right, we got it. Yay, legit. yeah, too legit to quit. Yeah, we've been streaming for like over three hours already. <laughs> oh no, uh. Um, anyways, thank you, Goomba. Thank you for um, actually. No, I'm I'm the one who actually found you. Yes, he did. Actually, yeah, I was actually like walking in this beautiful forest, and I found you right here. And then happy to be uh, here. Yeah, and there's there's a, a um, SCP entity with us, and also Dark Rose, and then Princess Otaku in the forest with us at the same time yep you're not alone goomba you're not alone we're here for you no you're not oh thank you <laughs> please come back for another show goomba yes please goomba you did a good job you're awesome yeah what do you guys think of goomba's talent right here oh thank you i'll, I'll be i'll try to be here Next time. Goomba, come back. You can blame it all on Peach. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, your invented song, Princess. Oh my goodness, that was that was gold. <laughs> <laughs> I I do I, I don't think I have an explanation for for that. I really don't. What about that? Do you have an explanation for that? Ah! Uh, I am a werepire. Oh, God. <laughs> That's what I... Uh, the best thing I can explain on that is not everything needs to breed. Not everything. <laughs> this is... What? You know what? N no. Ah. <laughs> uh. Thank you, thank you for tuning in. By the way, and thanks for giving us view. I will, I, I will appreciate it. That's awesome. Um, <clears throat> anyways, well, uh, before we go, uh, do you guys have any more shout out? Then let me know. Um, for me, I would like to say shout out to uh, Psychano Gaming. If you guys want to look at that, I will also put that in the description down below. I forgot about that. I am so sorry. Uh, Goomba, I know Goomba, that was your friend, right? Psychano yes. Psychano Gaming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, yeah, that was Goomba's friend. Um, that was actually, uh, I think she's the one that's going to pick up Goomba right now. Okay. Psychano Gaming. Um, uh, no, Princess I Otaku. eat it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Good job, Chris. <laughs> The Goomba disappear. <laughs> All right, um, Princess Otaku. Uh, do you have any shout outs before we go? Before we go. Um, well, let's see. Uh, number one, I, I just want to get this out of the way. Uh, but uh, I am Princess Otaku six six six. I am a digital artist. I specialize in uh, anime art style and kawaii art style. Um, my, uh, my, for commissions, if you ever want to get a commission from me, it's, uh, from $15 to $25, wait, yeah, and, uh, $20 as well, uh, sorry, but, um, if you want a commission done, I would greatly appreciate it if you could, uh, co uh contact me through DMs on in uh, Instagram or, uh, Discord. And one more thing, I want to thank everyone for helping me out with making my dream come true into being a VTuber. I legit thought that this was not going to happen unless I made like a crap ton of money. 
but you guys actually made it possible and while yes like you are seeing a very invisible version of me right now um like i, I i'm still figuring things out and i think that's fair because you know um i'm still new to this so thank you so much to everyone to akira to uh uh the goomba or Salcano gaming uh Dark Rose, Christopher Zazzle, Shala. I, I want to thank you all. I really appreciate it. I I could not have done this by myself, even if I tried. So, <laughs> thank you. Oh, That's awesome. Oh, <laughs> You're very welcome. If you need any questions, just let us know. Um, yeah. We're here to help you out. Thank you. You're welcome. You're you welcome. did a great I'm job, really Princess. Great. We're real proud of you. I gotta say, yeah. though, it's kind of fun having a little rag doll that I can, you know, control and stuff. All right. So let's give it a shout out to Saikano Gaming. Here we go. Go ahead, Saikano Gaming. Thank you. Uh, I'll definitely return for the next stream. Um, you can find me on YouTube and on Twitch under this name right here, Saikano Gaming. I usually play video games, like, well, the kind I want to play. I tend to not play the ones that everybody else play. I tend to want to play ones I do want to play, or games I used to play when I was a kid. So look out for those, and thank you, everybody, for welcoming me. And that's it for me. Sorry. Short, but sweet. I want you to bring that Goomba back. Don't hide the Goomba. He's too scared right now. He's too scared. He's too scared. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, Chris, go ahead. I wanted to uh, thank uh, everybody for you know showing up and, and watching the stream and all that cool stuff. Um, wanted to uh, say I uh, appreciated the kind words from Princess. That was very nice. And, uh, let's see here, um, gee golly, gee willikers, uh, oh, thanks for, uh, for our, our, our boy Moth coming in and hanging out, that was kind of cool, I guess, and, uh, yeah, and as far as the rest of you guys, everybody in chat, you know, love you guys, appreciate you, and, uh, that's it, yeah. How about you, Dark Angel Rose? Just want to thank everyone for coming and having a great night. And uh, Boggling Chronicles, you're awesome. Awesome, awesome. And also, like last night, I would like to take, thank once again Proto Kino for giving um, everybody a um, gifted membership last night. I don't know if I mentioned that, and I think I did. I think I remember I did. I did mention it. And also, um, <clears throat> I would like to thank Styled Moth. Styled Moth, holy crap. We got Styled Moth with us uh, tonight, and he did pretty awesome and all that stuff. And um, if you guys want to go to his channel, his uh, link is in the description down below as well. And... Um, <clears throat> All of that. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to get updated for the next upcoming live stream or the video that we just upload on Empire of Arts, uh, you can get a hold of us and Discord that was linked in the description down below. And also Princess Otaku, if you want to uh, look at that channel, it's also in the description down below. Um, and that's it. See you guys on the next episode. Bye. Goodbye. Thank you so much for sticking with us. Really appreciate it. Bye, everybody. Bye. Night. I actually eat potato today, it's so good.
barbecue beef 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 barbecue 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 Green cheese. Yes. <laughs>